What you feel about your mayor um, indulging in marijuana? The mayor? Yeah, or mayor candidates. What do you feel about public officials outright smoking marijuana? Do you feel like they'll be in their right mind to represent the citizens of the city of Detroit? Or, uh, I don't see why they would be for club. I'm looking for a box, but I know not to touch nothing. Thank you. Plug it in here. Yeah, plug it in 96 for you. Who is this? You know what? Okay, do he Okay, do he say it in his lyrics or do he give a handle? At the end of it or anything? No, they just be leaving the studio and they be uh, rushing so fast. You know what I'm saying? They just they just download it and keep going. He sound really good. I said. <laughs> so what type of music you like? I I love all genres of music. All genres. You got, uh, you got a good energy, good spirit about yourself. You think so? I do. I feel yeah, you got good energy. I got a crazy person in me. We all do. Because you know I'm a Gemini, so I tell people it's a J-I-M and I. It's a J-I-M and I, a Jim and I. Jim come out, he be like, what you said to me? Right. You said I can't run for mayor. Is that what you're doing, Brother Mayor? Yes. I'm an actual, I'm not a nominee anymore. I'm an actual candidate. For Mayor? Yes. Man, if we don't get you, you up can in there. It just, it tell you, like, uh, the news has been really, really um, favorative. Have they, have they came to sit down with you yet? Well, Christina Fairley already, she did an article, the Detroit News. Um, I, um, we have a news contact with Channel 7, but I'm getting some stuff together in about two weeks. I'm going to do an official press conference.
tuned into the best fellow, fellow, fellow. Niggas that ain't talking about Cali. This is South Tuesday shit. This station ain't average. This top ten shit. Tap your best friend. Climb your crown me. Oh, yes, D.
a live reality show or something with these kids out of Detroit. Ain't nobody else doing this with their children. People be so quick to try to put us down and stuff. And you know what? They love watching the reality shows with other kids. Rap game and all the little shows. Like they, they love them shows. So as I was saying though, so I asked you uh how long you've been doing the awards because you know I'm going on almost ten years doing this. Okay. And you know, I never imagined being an artist one day. And one day I'd be like on the media side. You know what I'm saying? Right. So then on the media side, you hear some of the damn mistakes. You know what I'm saying? You know, who is she? Or what is all these awards? Or who is who is these people? And then, you know, I give you these awards. And, you know what I say? This is what I tell you. Everybody is their own entity. You wanna? I said what you need to do. And I'm proud of myself because I did it with you. And I did it with DJ Cutterberry too. Because I didn't know him last year. Yeah. I just reached out to y'all. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And and I and I never said, I never said, look at me, look at me. Ah ah. Hold on, because I like I I can't check. I had the glasses on for the lab, but I got to okay, yeah. yeah. I never said, me, 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 ah ah, look at me. I just wanted to meet you and see what I can do to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? And last year when you gave me that award, you, that, meant, that meant a lot to me. Do you feel like just walking, just getting there and getting to the field and seeing you there and seeing your signs and stuff up, that means a lot to me. Because a lot of people have to understand really what the DET Awards is about. It's about recognition. It's about somebody saying and a group of people saying, I see you or we see you. You know, and it's a community people. We, we see just people in the community. If it's the man down the street who was able to bring his kids out that day and see you perform, mm -hmm. or you, you know what I'm yeah. saying, the neighbors was happy that we came. Really? The, 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 you saw the everybody sitting yeah. on the porch okay. like, oh, because yeah. I told them a couple of weeks, I was like, I'm going to have something in the picture. Look. And they was like, let us know, let us know. So, where were we at this year? The same. Really? I tried to. Um, work with a few other options, but sometimes those options don't work. Not for me, but just not for the the people. My only thing about not just that event, events in general, they start too late. We gotta get them. Niggas gotta get there on time. If you say three o'clock, goddammit, be there at three o'clock, not four thirty. Cause I know I thought of this too, and I'm trying to wait on people to talk. Cheryl said she was coming, so let me wait on at least Cheryl to get here. It's four o'clock, four thirty when Cheryl get here. Now it's two fifteen in the morning. We trying to get the last couple artists out of here, and yeah, I just want to start. Uh, I just want to start our events earlier. That's that's my only rebuttal about last year. And then, well, so not to throw units off, but. What happened last year was we were supposed to, the table company was supposed to come in too. Mm -hmm. And I had to go and get help, like Jalen and, and Mike, because the table company didn't show up. Okay. So this year, uh, we went and got our own teams and tables right. and chairs because it, I don't know, certain things happen in Detroit that just don't happen to me in other places. If I'm in California, if I'm in Atlanta, and I say, hey, I've got seniors coming, or family coming, or some kids coming, the table man is supposed to be there. So I was at the park at 12 o'clock in the hot sun, waiting for someone that to had took my deposit and not showed up. So um, I waited till 12.30, then 1.30 came, and then um, when 1.30 came, that's when he called. And he said, hey, you know what? I forgot I had a wedding down at Bell Island. And it was one of our black vendors. And I'm disappointed because a bunch, I called a bunch of other vendors outside the city. Uh -huh. They were more affordable. And a few other people that called them that day, they were there setting up and, you know, 
Well, here's, uh, you didn't have to call the cover. The cover, 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 the cover. Well, someone donated those chairs and stuff. We, I had already gave someone the money for the table and chair room. Yeah. So the chairs and tables that you saw us going to get, I looked, I had to go on renting them all, all at one thirty. I had to go rent a new hall, go pick people up to get the, ch oh, and don't let me leave Keontae out, because all of the young people really yeah, love my dog. My dog. and I, I really show, appreciate them, I show them and they, um, you know Keontae, my nephew, and I appreciate them because, you know, we didn't end up, that's your real nephew, no, that's well, my, man. I like to say Keontae, my nephew, that's what's up, me and his mom, cool, okay. cool, cool, you know, um, I appreciate the young men because we, me and Taisha would have been here. You know, we didn't leave that park till two in the morning. Why so late? Setting up those tables and chairs, it was a certain way they had to go on the U.R. Oh, okay. We wasn't prepared for that. When so maybe pay, we need to get you some help this year. Get you, get you a little staff that's going to stick around and help. Well, when you pay a company to come and set up tables and chairs and tents, and you give them your money. And that's what they're supposed to do. That's what they're supposed to do. So that's why I said, well, this year um, they already calling. They like, I see. What's up? <laughs> right. So you know those pop up tents that yeah. are at um, Menards. Uh, so I got those. Okay. And um, come to find out, my little cousin. And my auntie, they already they got tents and tables because they offer that service. So sometimes you be looking for things and it's right in your face for what you're feeling. But I'm gonna have respect to the um, people that's watching live. Yeah, we about to go ahead and yeah. song. I was about to do something bad. Turn that out. <laughs> oh, well, no, 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 turn your camera for a minute. Make me the TV for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, but your camera on. Oh, that's why I don't need be on, you know. Oh. No, it's okay. no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No. I'm here to serve the citizens of the city of Detroit. Sometimes self sacrifice is what's important. Okay. 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 Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm in Sound 2. Nation Radio with Mo Divine. It's your girl, Cheryl Shana, a.k.a. Sunshine Murray. Electro Web Premier, right in C-H-E-R-Y-L-W-E-B-B. And today, look at my stupid phone. That's a real nigga. And today, because my phone is not loading today, I am excited and I'm also honored to be here to answer any questions and ask some questions. Well, have you ever have you ever watched me interview? Yes. I don't get too personal, but what I do is I interview off of what we're talking about. But then I feel like most people start asking questions. You do. You make it interesting. You ask man, I've seen some explosive interviews that I didn't even know that this person and this person was gonna be like there. <laughs> Cause actually, I was like, I'm about to get one of mine. I'm like, I'm wondering who else is gonna be here. I'm shocked I'm here by myself. Right. Now, who is this mother That's me. I got a CD coming. Hey. I got a, I got a, I got a new CD that, I, that I'm about to drop. It's called Pandemically Speaking. Pandemically Speaking. Tell me about that. All the tracks are done during the pandemic. Oh, wow. Yeah. What is this the subject like? This one is called Real Nick. Every day you're going to go get it. That's a real thing. Every day you probably got to eat a bunch of hope shit. That's a real nigga. And you probably taking care of somebody else's kids. Yup. That's a real nigga. Yeah. So every song we got, got a subject like so. You know what I'm saying? So we about to go in now. Really, really. <laughs> I know everybody don't like to be called niggas or whatever, but that's, I'm you know, okay. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't use the word per se. That's I used to. But I'm not offended by it. There you go. I think my signal came back too. Uh you wanna hook up to the Wi-Fi? I'm oh, I can do all that, you know. Yeah. Them kids got me that iPhone for Mother's Day. So that's what gets make my phone work? Yeah, matter of fact. So okay. That, so that you can do that, I'm gonna play one more song. Okay, I'm gonna hook up to the thank you. I like all that music. Yeah. Well, you know, that's that the one thing. The one thing that I take pride in with Sound to Nation. You still don't lie? I'm about to be. You want to play one of my songs? Yep. I mean, how can I get it to you? The one thing I take pride in, and I argue for people, I argue for y'all music. You know what I'm saying? If I play it, mm -hmm. I feel like. It's some of the best music in the world because I crown it and I clown it. Yeah. So if you send me some bullshit, out the window it goes. So I built my whole platform on that. So I'll be feeling like this the best in the world. Mm -hmm. No, it ain't, nigga. Okay, then. We the best in the nation. No, you ain't, nigga. Okay, goddamn, we the best in the fucking radio station. So that's how I went from the world to the nation to the stations. If you want, if you want to dummy all the way down, you feel what I'm saying. Yeah. But at the same time. I argue for our music because I feel like, you know, I, I got some of the best music in the world. And I, uh, that's just like my relationship with DJ Culinary has grown because nobody wanted to do a versus with Little or Mo Devon. Why not? You great. You, you, your vocals are on point. Nobody, you know, you know this is, you know this, uh, I don't know, you show me, show me type of situation. You See, know. back in my day, what we did was, you know, I work, wrote for Priority Records, um, Hollywood, California, Hollywood Studios. We just jumped into the studio. They put the music on. We met people in the studios. We got down, and that was it. You know what I'm saying? We didn't um, say, show me. and yeah. You know, but I am, like, just saying, I really, really like your music. Okay, we're about to go live. Uh, and it's recording just to let you know. Okay. Okay, what's the Wi Fi? Oh, uh, you see Motown? Yep. Uh, Motown. Okay. Yep. okay. Uh, it's pronounced Motown. I'm Mo, and my partner's name is Tom. M O T O M. Uh uh. Uh, that, that, that ain't the password. Oh. That's the, that's the link, though. That you, you get the link? Yeah. And the password is Mo with a capital M. Is you supposed to tell everybody? Okay. Yeah, dang or not. Mo with a capital M. And O E. Yup. Okay. A N D and Tom T O L with a capital T though. T. Okay, well, well, well. Capital T. Hold on. T O L. You know this thing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That ain't it. Okay. 1635. I hope it works for me because sometimes these things don't work for me and I blame it on him and I think it's me. You know what I take from you? See, that's another thing. I'm good. I'm good off vibes. You know what I'm saying? You like a, I always say, are you an old 53 or are you a young 53? You in between. So you could be young one minute, but then you like, I don't know how to work this half hour. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's working. Well, yeah, if it don't pop back up, like I we're all, I think it you know. says Motown. Yep, I'm on it. Yeah. You know, this new, there's new things going on. Wi-Fi, 5G. Yeah. I come from pagers. Duh, me too. How do you think I am? I don't know. Take um, a guess. I bet you're in your 30s. How, 30 what? Like 35. Really? Yeah. I'm like 47. For real? <laughs> oh, wow. See, well, you know what? They say black don't crack, black but I tell crack. people it still hurt though. That is tough. Yeah. But and I tell people the, old, the oldest things will be in my knees. <laughs> dang, bro. So some people, like somebody took me for some 30-something the other day. They was like, you too young to be my mirror. And I was like, I think I'm older than you. Right. And they was like, how old are you? And I was like, um, like I'm 53 in a couple of more days. Oh, yeah. I don't tell people my age too much, but, you know, uh, I'm, proud I'm proud of, of it. it. I'm proud of it because, you know, like you just said, we from, like you said, the parent, the pager era. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm from that era where's, uh, I'm from that era where's, 
You know, that's a phone stand right there in that light. You know what? I don't know none of this stuff. Yeah, no. right in between, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you got to yeah, put it in between and then open it up. Okay, so. Now just put one side in. Like this. Yep, yeah, and then open the other side off. Pull okay. It. See? Oh, dang. See, you know. There you go. I was in the radio stations and stuff in California, <laughs> but it was yo yo okay. when we did K Day. Okay. So it is different now. We didn't have phones and stuff. You can have your phones and stuff in the studio on the radio, yeah. especially in California, because that was people money right there. Okay, here we go. We're about to get it started now. And if you want to. Uh... Hey, Mustafa from Zuzu Nation just texted me. I want to give him a shout out. What's up? <laughs> What's up, Mustafa Zulu uh, Nation? We are officially live. I am glad he's Zulu calling. Yo. Yo, yo. <coughs> Excuse me. Mic check, mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Yo. Yeah, you, use, you can use that one. Mike, this yeah. one? Yeah. Mic check, mic check. Oh, hey. Yeah. It's Cheryl in the house. Yo. Mic check, mic check. Up. Let me do a little. Uh -huh. hey, hey. First of all, I want to welcome you to Sound Two Nation. Yo, shout out to everybody that's tuned in. You are now rocking with the motherfucking best, Smoke Divine, and we live on Sound Two Nation. Another, another again. Y'all already know. Y'all already know it's gonna go down. See, I had stopped going live. I can't stop going live because I've been feeling like people take me for granted. Oh. And, and the only time I go live is when I got a special guest. So, oh, thank you. so I, I think that I think that works like that. Okay. So that way, when people do see me, they can say, "Oh, it must be somebody else." You know what I'm saying? Versus me sitting here uh, going back and forth myself. You know what I'm saying? Or, or the phone. You know what I'm saying? So we are live again on Sound Two Nation Radio, the best in the world, the best in the nation. And bitch, I got my own radio station. You know what I'm saying? I got a special guest in the building. That uh, totally awesome introduce you. yourself. It's your girl Cheryl Shana, aka Sunshine Murray, a lecturer with for mayor in the house. For mayor. For hold, mayor. Up, hold on, let me turn this down because that's Is why that I speak. me? No, that's me. That's why I speak. Okay. For mayor in the city of Detroit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You okay. move. Let me, let me, let me uh, back this up a little bit and give you some. <laughs> I have never, never, no, I was going to say I never interviewed a candidate, but I was going to say, no, what's the little, the little bitty uh, Italian looking guy? Sanchez? I think he was running for mayor like maybe five years ago. Oh, so, okay, because Sanchez, he was running for city council. Well, I know I had, I had talked to him one time, so. Okay, I'll try. You can't be the, you ain't the official Who first one. Oh. You're the official, you're the official black one. The official woman. The official woman. Because, you know, first there's woman. women running for mayor right now in the city of Detroit. That's why I wanted to tell you I really appreciate this opportunity and I don't take it. Oh, no, this ain't the first one. This is the first of many. I'm just saying, I'm I'm talking. You running for mayor? For mayor, I'm actually of a city of Detroit. At first, it was a nomination. Now I'm an actual candidate of the city of mayor for the city of Detroit. Yes. Now I'm not I'm not big on politics. <clears throat> I'm not I'm not big on politics, but I'm not ignorant to politics. Okay. Doug is doing a pretty good job, right? Uh, I mean, well, I know that's your I know that's your opponent, so you know. Well, also Doug is also a friend. We, okay, we are. Yeah, you, you know. Looking out. So you you see, I, I don't hide anything, right? Because I can't. There, our pictures are all over Facebook. Um, but what this is about is not about a person that's uh and that's doing a good job. We as a city, what I'm trying to do as as a native from the city of Detroit is get the citizens involved. And doing an awesome job and a better job and being an example for the whole world how a black city can actually come together and do an awesome job together for real, you know. Um, so it's not about Mike Duggan. Um, you, when you go out and you're a politician and a candidate for mayor, a lot of people do things differently. But by me being in the entertainment business yeah. and just being a down to earth person and a business owner in the city of Detroit and own, own a business in Southfield. Um, 
it is about so that's our mayor huh? entrepreneurship <laughs> and it is about Shout out to Jazz Go Child. He said, my baby. Hey, Jazz. Hey, DET Awards, June the 26th, yeah. Now, we got to slow down. I don't mean to cut you off. We got to slow down because we ain't, we, we, we jumped the gun. See, we should have okay. been talking about this, 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 that, then the marriage shit, but I'm just so. We can talk about the marriage stuff real quick and get it out the way. No, we're going to come back to it because, again, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. Like, and I am so excited. Everybody, I need y'all to tune in right now. The link is on my Facebook on the Cheryl Shana page. I see you coming in live. Tune in, please. Okay, so let's start right here. We live with Cheryl. Uh, tell everybody a little bit something about yourself. Like, okay, and I asked everybody to sit in that chair the same question. Demographically, where are you most known from? What high school did you go to? Well, you know, where, you know, what hood you grew up in? I'm most known from Dexter and Finkelhood. And okay. I'm most known from Herman Garden Hood. Okay. And I'm most known from Seven Mile Hood. Um, I, I'm deeply rooted in the city of Detroit. Um, my family is all over this place, and my immediate family have lived. Herman Gardens, Cinco. You got to be a real D boy or D girl to even know what, what a Herman Garden a Gardens Straight is. Straight from Herman Gardens. Joe Rizzo, you know, yeah. from the gardens. Um, my family is from the, my, my, oh, wait. Shout out to my sister, Jennifer Gray. Um, today is my sister's birthday. I wanted to give her a shout out. Um, our brother's birthday is on the 19th, but he passed. At the beginning of this year, we're gonna have a big party, y'all, at my sister Jennifer's house, um, off of Schoolcraft. Well, let everybody know what's up. Um, I've been having black block parties uh -huh. um, as as a mayor candidate. I, I like to bring fun to the streets. Can you do a block party over here? Yes, absolutely. We bring okay. um, food. We bring, I mean, you gonna block the shoe off? We. Um, I'm not sure about block. Well, usually when I come, the police come anyway. But they come to assist because right. I deal. I talk to the community police on our zooms and stuff. So if we did block the street off, I would have to call um, Grace. She's over neighborhoods to see if we could block the street off. But by this being a major street, because I live on a major street. You know what I was thinking? The first thing that's come to my mind is that uh, is that uh, laundry mat parking lot. I wonder if they let us do it. We could do it inside the laundry mat yeah. parking lot. I could definitely talk to them also. In that little corner right there on the street. Because that's what I do when I go into the neighborhood. We deal with the people that's the business owners that's in the neighborhood and ask them to chip in also. That's my mom. Uh, shout out to my mom. Oh, there. Hi, to her so birthday too, man. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. And see the Gemini's yeah. is in effect. Yeah. How do you like having a Gemini mom? My mama, my mama had me when she was fourteen, she's and so she was, she's always been cool with me. Like, yeah. like we got a cool relationship. Like yes. when, when she, when my mom called, "What's up, though? What up, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, and she, you know, just happy birthday to my mom. You happy know what I'm saying? Birthday. She always yes. been there for me. You know. Yes. But uh, uh, so is it fair to say that nowadays you are most known for the D the DET awards? I think so. <laughs> okay, so tell everybody about that, the DET Awards. How long, first of all, how long you been doing awards and what what is the DET Awards? And okay. sorry. Well, I've been doing awards since the since the eighties. And it started in California with my kids' dad, Titus Heath, and Robert King MC. And um, we were doing the priority records pro uh, project. And a lot of the things that I learned being in California in the music industry, I just wanted to bring home. So we were doing award shows in California in the 70s and 80s with Yo-Yo. And Yo-Yo would have um, big events because she was with the K-Day radio station, the Oldies and Goodies that you still hear on the radio station today. Uh -huh. And we would go out to the uh, Indian Reservations and just have a big awards and a party for the people in the community. Just regular people. They didn't have to be stars you, that were continually to do their music and things like that. You, you know, um, I would say that we kind of got something in common because, you know, I give away awards too. Yes. And it's just something about, you know, that feeling. You know, what, what made you start doing it? I started doing it because Yo-Yo came here and we created the Yo-Yo School of Hip-Hop. Well, Yo-Yo created the Yo-Yo School of Hip-Hop in Los Angeles. And my children were always there in Los Angeles for the summer program. 
And when I moved back to Detroit, there wasn't anything to do. Man. And then um, Yo Yo and Trick Trick and Most Deaf and everybody came and we were right in Highland Park. I got really strong roots in Highland Park. Shout out to Highland Park. Um, I was born on Glendale. Why well, didn't see you at the Culinary Awards? And Webb. I'm not sure, but you know, Super MC is my cousin and, and uh, Rondell, Dirty Red, my real cousin. Okay. Like my grand my my grandfather was Levine Wells. That's how the park. And my other grandfather was Webb. They named the street after him Webb. Word. Yeah. Oh, you, and I was like born. I was born really? on Webb in okay. Glendale on the border of Highland Park in Detroit. Okay. And Pretty Hospital. Okay. And it's fair to say you know uh, many many people in the city of Detroit. I know a lot of people. It, it, Seven thousand in the group. I think I know every. I'm just Person. saying it has it, it, it has grown though since you've been doing the awards because you met me like you know yes you met, and you know. I'm happy I met you Thank and you. Um, Rello and Didi see what I'm saying yeah it's a lot of us that because of the awards you've been and, and, and that's that's the uh, that's the beauty of it it's bringing it's bringing us together exactly it's bringing yeah. us together so this year you got the DET awards coming again which you surprised me when you when you uh, advised for the uh, bio because genuinely I really wasn't thinking about it. So you, you know, I was like, hell yeah, I mean, let me hear, let me hear, let me do our bios, you know what I'm saying? So, is everybody turning the bios? No, see, this year, since it's the group, and the group is banging, and then we had the COVID stuff, and then last year was all of, oh, the group is banging. y'all oh. really <laughs> realize when I got to the field, especially when I seen you there, you were all professional, I had your set up, yeah. the last time, I, I thought about something, the last time I gave an event or anything outside was in California with Yo-Yo at Lamarck Park. Right. And that was like, or with the kids, um, my children's father, he passed, passed away recently, right. um, at King Park in Long Beach. So just to be at home and then just see um, see people that that I've been talking to, and we, we had just networked, yeah. me, you and Rello and Diddy. Yeah. We had got off those senior bags. Yeah. We had got over 200 senior bags. Yeah. I was like, whoa. No, that was, again, that was huge for me because I want to do stuff like that, but it don't happen for me the way it happened that day. Like, if I did it We made day, magic together. It haven't happened like that since. The seniors are still asking me for stuff. Uh, but, you know, it's a lot. I don't like to bug you guys all the time because uh, I listen, appreciate it. you can use that table, the station, that whole wall to be for the seniors and we can do it together. Yeah, so I, I mean, just cause, appreciate cause, cause, Because what happened is, what happened is people will come in here and they would notice, what is this? Yeah. And then when you, it, it brings, it brings to, it brings to life. Right. You know what I'm saying? And before you know it, uh, maybe they with their wife and their wife just showed up with a, you know, ten dollars of a toilet paper. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. absolutely. I was, uh, I, I, I'm honored to do that kind of stuff. You know, what a I'm saying? lot of people don't like giving, but I do because I don't know Mo. So, like, people, people just don't know really sometimes with some things that you go through in life. Yeah. But even when I was homeless at times with my children, whether if I had to be or not, maybe I decided to be homeless in California at times because I live with family and I just wanted my children to have their own room or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? People have opened up their door to me and my children that didn't even know me. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. And just like even being in California, just at first when I came from California, boss was there. It was a struggle because people thought I was from the East Coast. Right. And they was like, oh, it's the East Coast, West Coast, and here I am. You mean boss the rapper? Yeah, boss. Okay. Shit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, um, you know, a lot of people came to California at that time, but who I was with, I was just protected. And they didn't have to protect me, but they did. Right. You know, I was coming from California. I was like, I got a Gucci Cadillac 5.0, Benz O, Benz got a blue elite with the funky fresh lid I'm wearing gold. Like, Is that you? Gucci, but, yeah. I'm like, I'm better known as Sweet Bambi. And right. when I did Sweet Bambi, people didn't know that I was from Detroit. And they was banging it in California. And then I had, um, it was an abrupt abduction. It was an abrupt abduction. When uh, I, I did a song about my getting abducted on my 21st birthday, the next thing you know, I'm at somebody's house named Andre and K 
Capitol Records, and then it was Jimmy Jam, Jimmy and Terry Lewis. I'm in there when they had their house studio in Inglewood. It's like, right. you know, it was like the ride of your life and Ice T and you know, um, shout out to my brother JB. Um, that's King MC and Titus Heath brother. He was murdered in '93. And um, JB, you know, did a lot, you know, um, for us in the music industry and stuff. But people just show so much love to where I'm like, I can't hate. Hey, I want to give a big shout out to my man, Ouija the Hustle. I see you checked in. Ouija, wait, let me tell you. Let me tell you. We got the block party going on July. Ouija needs to call in. Listen. They got the block party going July the 10th, yep. behind the 7-Eleven. Yep. Sound 2 Nation will be there broadcasting live, doing what we do. Another fun day. Do you know about Weegee the Hustler? It's my dog. Weegee need to call in. Do, uh, what, do you know how many albums me and Weegee the Hustler is on from Detroit for Life Records? That's my baby. Word. Yeah, we got, we got songs like We Got Guns, We Got Dope. We got money, man. We cut throat. Oh, That's man. why I was like, no, divine, I can't play any of my music that we did. <laughs> it's, and I'm going to have you call in when I charge this line. My, my, this phone is big. It's so. a lit. I'm charge this phone up. But, uh, but again, shout out to Weezy the Hustler, man, uh, doing this thing. Weezy uh, the Hustler is my family, Mo. I, I'm glad you checked in. I love Weezy. I just inboxed him the other day, like... Don't be trying to be professional. You have no other choice but to be at the DET. Facts. You know what? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Because uh, DJ Culinary Awards was just uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. It was a beautiful event. Very, very beautiful event. The thing that bothered me the most about these awards is the winners. Don't be there. And I'll be, uh, my attitude towards that is who in the fuck do you think you is to not be there if your name is mentioned, to come and earn you. somebody has mentioned your name. You know what I'm saying? And Who the, do you think you are we, um, to not reserve that day? The way we do our award show is like, because I want to be fair, and that's why I do it on Facebook. So people nominate you. Nice. People are nominating you. Because I have some awards in the back of my trunk now that, that was still from two. A year or two ago, yep. And I keep them in there just in case I run and into someone. But that, even, even that in itself that you haven't ran into these people at all that time? Well, I have one and I keep telling somebody to let um, the guy who, he really makes really good beats. Um, what's his name? Um, Flaming? No, Helleva. Helleva? Yes, he's got, he got nominated last year and he had so many votes. And, he come. and I well he I don't think he knew because I he was I was letting the people know let hell of a know I, I, I would say I would say hell of a probably didn't know because he is really a down to earth person, earth person. Yeah. and um I I reached out to him on his Instagram but I noticed it hasn't it still haven't been unread and it's over for him yeah they gotta stop that man the artists gotta stop that man they gotta stop being I know you got. Uh, 80k people following you and you, you check your inboxes. It's like it's like your mail. I hate when I go to somebody's inbox and they ain't even check this shit. You know what I'm saying? What's the purpose of having social media if you're not gonna use it all the way? I check all my inboxes and everything yeah. on Instagram because people they hit me up like for the DT awards and shows like that and stuff. And my Facebook and even my emails. And I'm not saying it's easy. No, it's not. It's not. I actually I need a, I, I need, I personally need somebody to run that shit. Yeah. You know, to run the social media. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Take these phone calls, write these addresses down. Because I, if I do it myself, which I do most of the time, yeah. I double and triple book myself because I'm always saying, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I need somebody to be like, no, you can't go that day. No. Yeah, you because you got something <laughs> on that particular time. Yeah. So uh, most definitely, man, uh, I, I feel you on that, and uh, uh, what we will, again, I will help you in that area. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe you know, I got a window here. Put them in the window. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? We got a whole list of seniors now. So what I've been doing um, is just going to the seniors, and we're we got raffle tickets, and we do four twenty five dollar raffles, right. and then I get these jars, and I take. Um, <laughs> you know what? I I I I. I 
I'm not perfect, so I do do bad stuff. So I've been sneaking in the laundry mat, mm -hmm. stealing their coins. So I put twenty dollars in there to get twenty dollars worth of coins. The sign says only for laundry customers only. Oh man, if that's the worst <laughs> thing you do, then you. Oh, wow. that's, that's, that's bad. To I've you? been sneaking in there. That's <laughs> bad to you, a nigga like me. Be like, fuck your quarter. I need some quarters, my nigga. <laughs> no, but you're not supposed. I know to that. Say. Hey, you got more quarters, don't you? I mean, this is the laundry bag. We got quarters. Cause I, I figure, like, if somebody says something to me or they caught me, yeah. I'm like, hey, they're coming back here anyway because I'm putting them in the jars for the seniors so right. they can wash and stuff. So I get them little money jars. I put, like, $5 in a little, like, a little, like, cute wine glass and stuff. Yeah. The world need more people like you that, uh, that actually got a heart. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what, what, what you doing for Father's Day? Oh, wow. Well... Ray is having um, the big Father's Day event at the corner tomorrow. I mean, at the corner after um, for Father's Day. So that's on the twentieth, right? I ain't got to call it. Ah, Weezy! Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> that's dope. Weezy! <laughs> That's real life I'll, shit I'll right there. I'm the street on the corner. <laughs> I'm watching the show. I'm at my people's spot. Right. Let's go I now. I'm telling people I got goals. Come on, cheers, man. Come on, Let's Weezy. Oh, oh, wow. I'm going to interrupt you all. Come on, Weezy. Straight. Come on. That's dope. Hi, Weezy. Pull up a chair. That was so dope. Yo, talk to y'all talk. I ain't on that. Yeah. I ain't doing nothing, man. Hey, man, I'm just sitting here getting to know this woman. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, people like her. I'm 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 like, you know what I'm saying? People like her. Should be honored and should be known. You know what I'm saying? Hey. And 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 you know what I'm saying? We need to respect these people that that do honorable oh, things. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I love that shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? What's going on with you, bro? Man, this block party thing, blessed, man. man. That's yeah, how you do it, man. What's up with the block party? We're blessed, man. We blessed, man. That's all I can say, man. This shit pop. Man. Yeah. Now, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in full campaign mode, man. Yeah. Y'all might see me on. Fox too, you might see me at a shelter, you might see me at an open mic. I'm on, I'm on campaign mode for the next 30 days, man. That's good, there, man. man. That's good. I mean, you know, again, from where I'm sitting, I know this ain't your interview, but again, you hear that, but... It's, it's know, our uh, interview. Hey, from where I'm sitting, man, I, you know, I, I know I see it. Because okay, I see sure. it. I mean, what happened to the food is what I want to know. Because I, I ain't had a lamb chop yet. Man, we ain't talking about that right now. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. It's Ouija season right now. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I don't watch this guy do some of everything, dude. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, DT Awards, her shit about to pop. Yeah. I'm an honored performer at that motherfucker. I'm coming to rock out. Uh, like I said, it's Ouija season. Hey, man, how you so, feeling, like, dog? I read your post one that, that, that the, when you acted the awards and, like, people don't know I'm in pain and, you know what I'm saying, I was watching you before. I'm like, damn. Yeah, like, people that's 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 uh, like, two or three different pills, weed, yeah. liquor. Man, that was some shit to stay. You just spit your shit, though. Like, yeah, I was fucked up. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, literally, I had just injured myself hours before the show. Word. At the yeah. mall or whatnot. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it was all good, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 man, you know for that, bro. Yeah, I, I mean, if I say I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there. Sure. A lot of people ask me why I stopped performing is because I performed so much and tore the stage up so much. I can't even stand on stage now without my feet burning and my toes starting to hurt. I'm for real. Yeah. Was, you, know, you know, I had this knee operation, but I can't stop. I can't quit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I had you got a knee gotta, operation, you know, when you, too. When you had them situations, I did plenty of shows in and out of town and had personal injuries or twisted yeah. an ankle or yeah. fucked up a hand or, you know, yeah. just sitting there in pain, whatever it is. But you just got to go ahead and knock it out and get it in your head. Like, I'm about to do this 10 minutes on stage, 20 minutes on stage, and I'm back and I'm getting the fuck on. I'm going to the room or going home or whatever it is. Like, you know, so I mean, like, when I hit events now, I just, I let them know, like, you know, I'm not going to do no all day, all night situation. Jazz, you know go saying? to child, say, hey, Weezy. Who said that? Jazz. Jazz. What up, though, my name? Too, Jazz. Uh, so, look, Cheryl. Yeah. Let's get into this mayor thing. You know, how did, when did you know, how did you know you was going to run for mayor? Well, let me say this first. That's some G shit. You like, know, right? Yeah. As far <laughs> as my, um, Music history, though, 
Like, Ouija, he's just over here being modest, but he's a real, real serious part of my music catalog. My albums, we got albums together. I want to hear some of your music. Songs, we have. Do it song. It's like 20 years old. 20 years, but it's still bangers, though. That's all it counts. If we drop some of our stuff, but we I know, you know what I mean when I say we're I, I, I still have it. Uh, and I got stuff we uh, do I got stuff we do I got stuff we do not stuff be on shuffle. It'll go through it'll one of those. Yeah. i be like, oh yeah, it did do that. You know what I'm saying? But, but you know what I'm saying? It just... Yeah. Ah, you got to be person, honest. The growth. Yeah. When the last time you wrote a rap shit? But he got to be honest. The music that we wrote, we G20, it ain't been 20 years What's the 2020? The music that we wrote, it that shit is still fire. It's still it's still fire. If we dropped it now, Ouija, I have stuff you don't even have. If we dropped it now, it would bang this whole city out. We gotta admit we were before so, our time. I'm not discounting your new stuff. No, I'm not saying that. I don't, but even, I'm wanna saying, hear, I don't even wanna hear 20, 20 years yeah. ago uh, Ouija. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like, no, I hey, let me tell you about twenty-year-old Ouija. Like, oh, y'all like, like, like y'all ain't heard was she nothing. Differently? Oh, I was man. rapping differently, but everything was like freestyle. Like, I had but really listen, shit, but what I'm saying, Ouija had, we had, had access stuff. to the studio so Ouija much. Ouija got. Right. I'm not saying had, sixteen bars. I'm saying Ouija can't go for like sixteen bars. Oh, no, 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 But making it make sense. But you know what I'm saying? At that age and at that time. Um, I was coming home from a joint, so I had garbage bags full of rats, and I was ready to go. But when I had access to a studio where I didn't have to leave, we got access you see what I'm saying? I had a studio where I, like, I didn't have to leave. You feel what I'm saying? I chose to leave and go home and go to sleep. We like still that. do, though. We still you know do. what I'm saying? So I was in there. I had like hey, so let me ask you I made double albums that never dropped. Let me ask you this, Lisa, because clearly I've been doing this 10 years. And through the whole 10 years, I knew you, but it seemed like it was like some drop off points where, like, maybe you wasn't rapping. Yeah, it was. Did, did you have legal, uh, a lot of legal issues back then? Oh, okay, okay. I'm that was always, there. yeah, legal. Uh, so yeah. you never had that point? Because I know people that's been like, man, fuck that rap shit. It ain't give me no, no. Give me no money. No, I, I, I always made music. I just didn't want to deal. Uh, I had legal issues, but then also with legal issues. I didn't, I wanted, I didn't want to deal with the public. I didn't want to deal with. The politics right. of Detroit rap, the politics of uh, people is making Ouija mad. Or label or whatever it is. That's why I have to watch who I be around because I be around real people. Yeah. And so even like when I was performing, I have to watch where I perform at. Hey, see, I told you because it'll go down for real. Like <laughs> well, I told you before Ouija when okay. I said you come in. Uh, who was that you came in for, Lika? See. The interview is different because the que- the line of questions is different. So I really never had a chance to really chop it up with you. Like yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? And I've always been intrigued by your uh, your story, your hustle, your game. and You know what I'm saying? And nothing else, uh, I call them sound tube nation classes because it don't matter what year or whatever I play. That that, uh, yeah. that where you from, where I still play yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. out of that. And that people still love, I want, I want some bomb ass pussy. And you know, oh, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that for the fact that not only is it a classic and a remake, but our youngest don't know enough of our history. But let me say this to you, know you know We was before our time. We got a song that I just listened to do that me and Ouija did 20 years ago called Lean. And we did it like we were Chinese. Because I came in like Jet Li. I was like, oh, here we go on another flow. Don't you know it's just terrible or original? Why do I kick like that? Ouija <laughs> came in. He was like, what's wild? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we made yeah, like, stories you know when you have, when you had access to to a producer and studio like you could play around like you could you could have fun you could have fun with the music and just make all type of different shit like we even had shot the culinary say about to pull up to we we, we we even cool. had that's my dj man yeah. that's my tour that dj so and my cool. first little dj yeah. Yeah. This is so like awesome. like like um even even with 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 that situation, it's like people forget about having fun with this shit. You know what I'm saying? You be so stuck on, oh, I need to be a millionaire, or I need to be this person, or I need to be in that crew, this yeah. and that, man. Get back to the fun of it. Yeah. And get just be mm-hmm. focused on you and get back to the fun of it and be mm-hmm. loyal to your craft mm-hmm. and see what happens. 
And you know, and you I'm know, a product of that. You, you know what I hate? Being the artist and being on this side too. Yeah. I hate to hear people say, like, who be at the show? Be rappers looking at rappers. And my thing is this: I genuinely enjoy the shows when I come on, like when I when I uh, did the uh, the award show for Cutting There. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I genuinely I like being in my era, my area, meeting people, vibing, looking at the show. Oh, that's him. Oh, that's I genuinely like it. I don't understand why most people just not like that, especially when it comes to their crap. See, well, well, now to cut you up real quick, but you see with the rappers in front of rappers thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good and bad thing, and I'm going to tell you why. Because a lot of promoters book a lot of rappers to pay their bills. So the shows be full with a lot of niggas who wait on you to get the fuck off the stage and get the fuck out their way. True. And they want to rap and leave and all that That's shit, true. whatever it is. That's because promoters is booking a whole bunch of rap niggas to look at you rap so they can pay their bills at the club or pay their rent at the crib. But here's the thing, though. Instead of actually getting fans, because the promoter's supposed How to bring you get fans. fans. How do you get the fans? You bring in customers. You bring in people that's going to buy merch. You bring in people that's going to come party. You're going to bring in people that want to come see these people do their thing. Look, hey, look. We at, the block par at the block party, it ain't a whole bunch of rapping. We partying, couple right. artists, right. get your merch on, get your pictures on, video shoot, and we going home. Now, here's the thing. We doing this event here uh, July the 2nd. It's a male dance event. You paid a lot of money for this guy. You paid a lot of money for this guy. So it, his picture, everything about him posts to say, oh, we're going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the thing that I be looking at most is, is is most artists, they struggle to get real fans. I'm going to be honest with you. And, and I, I believe events like yours help us get fans. I'm it's that's more people why that, didn't, that didn't, didn't know who Mo Divine was, let alone the sister girls. Right. You know now saying? you see yeah, everything went crazy. Yeah. You see everything went crazy. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why I said that when you're um uh, well, let me get back to being an artist. Like Detroit really be missing it. Okay, so the royalty checks, I know mine's are real. <laughs> yeah, sure. My publishing is real. It's like some people saying that they're getting two dollars and four dollars in royalty checks. Yeah. Listen to me. listen to what I'm saying to you. The more you perform, your rate increases. That's a real job that you have. Yeah, your work catalog. Your work catalog. You can file hey, unemployment insurance. Do I supposed to put like, like these hundreds of flyers? I got. Should I upload those to that? Is that well, how they so, for, okay. for your work catalog? Yeah. Or like I know for BMI. When you put in uh, where you're performing and stuff like that, like as it get more and more uh, of your catalog of your listing of your what you're performing, color. like if you got to put your song or what you're performing at that yeah. show, like say for instance you do the block party and it's BMI approved or whatever it is, and you got a set, say you got a 10 minute set right. at the block party, okay I'm doing a such and such song, such and such and such and such song. That's in your catalog. That's in your recording of me performing July 10th at such and such event. That's a BMI approved situation. Right. Right. Okay, so now BMI know Moden did these songs. Right. And we got to and we got yeah, and we right. got to pay these folks because they did these songs on this day. BMI this BMI is BMI your approved employer. situation. Yeah. BMI has been my employer yeah. since the 80s. That's like that's like you punching in. Okay, I'm only doing so four hours thing, a day. I'm only doing eight hours a day. So, so, so the worst thing a person can do. Like myself, I'm use myself as an example, is not logging to BMI for six months. <laughs> right. I ain't those are your months. <laughs> but look, that's just one I mean, part of I slipped on. It shows look, I slipped on. I was, that's just, yeah, hey, it, it's a lot of stuff I slipped on. That's so, just right. one part of it. So let me tell y'all. Okay, so one, the reason why, let me give a shout out to Ray White, Detroit for Life Records. The reason why oh. it was important for us to lay in that studio 24 hours a day. Look, I appreciate someone who opened up their home to us, bought the equipment. That ain't happening right now. That's why you're seeing everybody running around with a bunch of mic takes. If somebody loved you enough to take time out to give you your own beats, your yeah. 12 tracks, so that's just one part of it. And then now, Ouija, we have it where the, the club is not licensed no more, so we got policies now to where you make the club license. So when you go perform at a birthday party, a wedding, just as long as the address is official and it was an actual birthday party, yeah, right. a wedding block party, there, 
being my page for your showcasing and your writing part of it, right? But this is where everybody don't get it at in Detroit. Pop was a published author. What makes you a published author was he paid $125 on his publishing side of his BMI. So when people tell me they had their own publishing company, I say, okay, great. I'm with BMI. They paid me for my publishing. That's my YouTube. That's, um, like right now, those shows, the reason why Hardcore Pond is not on, people like me who have BMI, Hardcore Pond didn't pay us. I don't care what I signed with you when I came on to your show. I'm an affiliate writer with BMI and I'm a published author. When you're a published author, you're the author of everything you publish. Right. Books, yourself on Facebook. When you see that published on Facebook and you see that published on yeah. Instagram, your account's supposed to be set up as business account for you to get paid and that's where your money at. I so, love being empowered. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Now, yeah. And there's more access nowadays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, For you to do that. You right. know what I'm saying? This ain't the old record labels. This ain't the old, right. like, it's more empowerment to yourself. I mean, we want to do it empower the black people, but it's empowering even for the white folks that's in the business too. So I mean, it's for everybody right now. Yeah. You know, whoever really want to get their read on and get their knowledge on, like, you gotta bump your head a couple times. Hey, do you do you got artists? Like, you got a label? You got artists up under you? For me? Yeah. Um. Are you into that? Hood Committee Music. Let me shout out real quick, because a lot of people don't know this, and mm -hmm. a couple of interviews is about to start dropping with me saying this, and I'm going to say it on the Sound Tube Nation, because yeah. this is family. Yeah. Rest in peace and shout out to Soldier Slim yes. from the Magnolia. Yes. Hood Committee Music would not be Hood Committee Music without that man. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Because he had cut though committee at that time. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do a rap group called Hood Committee. It was just a rap group. Mm -hmm. And she'll tell you back then I was only saying Hood Committee. Right. It wasn't right. Hood Committee music, none of that. It right. was just Hood Committee. I ran into Soldier and BG when BG used to be in the city back in the day. And all right. We all hanging out because me and BG birthdays around the corner from each other. So okay. we celebrating together. Yeah. You feel me? Him, Hot Kizzle, Turk, uh, Slim, all of us. Uh, we on West Side. I forgot what the club was, whatever it is. I used to have the footage and all that stuff and all, you know what I'm saying, a little VHS footage and all that. Right. It but was on Joy we, we was, uh, we was, uh, yeah, it was on Joy Road. We was mm -hmm. um, hanging out in VIP, kicking it, me and Soda just kicking it. Now I don't know music shit, just building, talking, because he in the city, he want to know the city life, all that type of stuff. So the conversation led to me wanting to do Hood Committee Review. He like, yeah, go ahead and do Hood Committee. That's going to be dope. Right. But as I kept going, I'm like, I'm going to make a label out of this shit. Right. And I just kept talking, kept talking about it, kept never really put it together. I just always was blasting it, mentioning it, and yeah. everybody always was asking, what's the hood committee, what's this, this, and that. So, um, when I left Detroit for Life Records, went over to 4 Fifth Entertainment and all that, I was still running that hood committee, hood committee, this, mm -hmm. move, this, and that. Right. Mm -hmm. That's when the music part started getting into it, but I'm like, man, I want to do the label thing. But I still didn't trust niggas and do artists right. and all that. So... Mm -hmm. Um, after we were signed to the Mo Thug stuff and all that, and I, everybody went their separate ways, I did hook up with the music as a label. Right. Got everything together, did it as a label, had like 13 artists. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Had them on shows all over, my birthday parties, drama stuff, a whole bunch of different stuff, bone stuff, pretty you know, stuff, a lot. All, all, all type of stuff. All you feel me? But I fired all the niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they were spoiled. Fired all the niggas and just left it alone. It just have a bad taste in my mouth. Right now, I'm just uh, behind the scenes of a couple singers, rappers, and just helping write their stuff, executive producing their stuff, and just leading them in the right way. I don't want no paperwork. Right. I don't want no contract with you niggas. I don't want nothing. Just give me a shout out. You feel me? That's it. Just give me a shout out and just say thank you. And I'm going to pick you back after we do. And, and right now, I'm pushing, uh, he performing at the block party. I'm pushing my little brother, King Diego. Okay. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And he debuting his new single. He was already rapping. But he wasn't rapping under the hood committee. Now he's rapping under the hood committee. Whole different sound, whole different flow, whole different quality of, of product. You feel How did y'all come up with the uh, the block party? Where did that come from? Um, my song "Pick a Side," Pick my a new side. single. Um, I'm, like I said, the thirty day campaign starts today, and uh, you're gonna see "Pick a Side" twerk videos, "Pick a Side" TikTok videos, "Pick a Side" whatever, me rap whatever. Okay. Um, and uh, it's one it of the shakers. 
I mean, it's just it's just some gutter shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's one of them bangers. Might tear the club up type shit. Mm -hmm. Stand on top of cars, all that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what it is, like, it came about, um, I just wanted to shoot a video on some gutter shit. Post up at the gas station. Have 50 niggas out there, bikes and everything. Okay. And shoot the video. And being culinary, we uh, we came together like, you know what? Let's just take it bigger than that. Yeah. Let's just throw a party. I don't want to throw a party. I want to be outside with the shit. Right. He you know, like, let's throw a block party. Uh, what block I want to pull up on in the city, really. Right. And have people out there feel like everybody going to be safe because niggas acting a fool right now. You right. feel me? Fuck it. Let's just take over some shit. That's why, that, that dog, see, you hit the nail right on the head shit, because from, a, from, a OG, shit, from an OG standpoint, when I looked at it, I'm like, Jefferson is shady. Like, we're taking that bitch off. And I'm going to be bringing some air flyers, right, to the block. <laughs> you know, you tell people, like, bring your, bring your, uh, bring your flyers and all that, network, your business cards and all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even the people that's uh, getting the vendor spots uh, with their merch, you know what I'm saying? Feel free to do what you do with your merch. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys are going to be set up for the media side yeah. of things. And um, even a headline artist can bring a merch and set. You know what I'm saying? That's part of your headline right. package is bring your merch. And get your shit up. You right. know what I'm saying? You know, we, got, we, got street, we got street promo. We taking it back to the old school with the yeah. promo. Not just sitting on your ass on social media. Right. We're getting flyers and posters. Uh, I'm getting picket signs for my video shoot that day. The picket signs, picket signs and shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this shit to a whole other level for this vibe of this album. Because it's Ouija season. Let's do it, dog. Right Let's do it. Vibe. Let know, me so ask I you this. the album last night. So Let me ask you this. this. As far as uh, Detroit rap goes, who you know who you like really fuck? Who Ouija fucks with? I fuck with a lot. As far as like listening to their music, um, I've been banging jazz with new shit lately. I've been checking in with that video and banging that shit lately. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that what the forty bars? I've been fucking with that. Heavy. Yeah, she went crazy in that bitch. I love, I love the flow on that shit. Um. Just overall, man, I just listen to so many different cats, man. Like yeah. unheard cats and cats that is heard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be listening to cats on Apple Music, knowing that they be from Detroit until they mention they stuff on Detroit. Right. Like, oh, okay, but I be having shit on Shuffle. Just Shuffle, okay. I be real big shit. I in the car so much, right. I just be right. That's on real YouTube, shit. Shuffle, and then shit play. You know how YouTube put all the Detroit shit together sometimes. Yeah, that just inspired me to do more on Apple. So you just yeah, got your shit on Shuffle, huh? Yeah, sometimes I just be <laughs> listen. I, I can listen to a. Um, say for instance, a, a Ice Wear song or something. It yeah. might switch to a Baby Ray song. It might switch to a Mo Divine song. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't no telling. Cause people come across my music like that. Yeah. They might be listening to Soda Baby or something, and they tell me like, "I'm listening to the and your shit popped up." They right. screenshot it like, "Oh yeah, your shit." But I got my shit on Pandora. I got my shit on everything. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, right. work. And it's like, yeah. And even on Pandora, when I, I keep an eye on what's played, what region, what states, what cities, mm -hmm. a lot of my old shit is getting a lot of play on Pandora. And all the new shit is getting the Spotify, the Apple Music, and all that. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it just. Shout out to Coach Kato. He said, what up, though? What up, what Coach up, Kato? Kato? We been up in his spot, too. Yeah, I had Kato on the studio <laughs> last night, man. Chilling for a minute and shit. Yeah, yeah Kato right. say, uh, Kato say he back, he, he on, he, he back, he back like he never left. What? Yeah, definitely. He, I, um, I be like, Kato, yeah. what's up? Like, yeah, me and Kato, <laughs> he, he in that bitch, man. Me and Kato <laughs> kick it every week, man. And, uh, I'm going to be uh, stopping by the studio. Um, checking some of the stuff he's working out and try to, you know, lend a helping hand on something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, he was with me last night in the studio when I finished up the album. So, that was a uh, like last Album night. done. Yeah, the album, We Just Season Done. It dropped September. So, I might but just I, drop I, it on I'm my so birthday. proud of Reezy because he just keep, you know, keep it going. Like, you yeah. know, Reezy was um, doing this stuff when I left Detroit. Well, I never left Detroit Records. Um, Detroit for Life Records. Um, but when I started... Spanding out. Oh, yeah, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> like, we coming in today. Hey, hey, we taking over the shit. Hey, 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 hey,
What are you doing? <laughs> I, know, I, I really feel like I'm at home. For real. That's my guy, Is this your cousin? <laughs> That's my cousin, huh? You fine. <laughs> we taking over shit, man. But yeah, Detroit for Night Records, man, that was definitely a starting point for me because I was yeah. coming home from the joint. And my little cousin, uh, Vito, he was over there rapping. Vito just and, dropped uh, some more stuff. And, uh, you know, he, he, he definitely an entrepreneur right now. Like, he own businesses and stuff like that. Like, and, uh, like, he even DJ at one of my cousin's business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a whole, <laughs> it's like a whole, like, even from there to now, it's just like a whole laughing. blessing, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, Detroit for Black Records, it I'm was a lot of, because it Nino was a Luigi. lot of youngin', it was a lot of youngin' moments it where we didn't like nobody. We, we dissed everybody. That's like, why you asked me about my about music. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. just yeah. like, no. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. Just because no, we made the song, yeah, it was right, like record series about that, that but with V Young Vito, I got a song with Young Vito on there. He's ten years old, talking about the six mile streets. Yeah, my little cousin. He, he used to sound like <laughs> he was before. ten in the studio. He used to sound like you forty. Young he was like head. young. Some some. Y'all was some OGs again. Yeah. You were OG, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm an OG yeah. for real. That's a when um, old man. when yeah. I <laughs> when I um started um because life happens and so like I said I appreciate Ray. Because he yeah, opened his that. house up to us, his studio, whatever. I'm saying when I would perform, Ray would go and get me fitted all Detroit, straight Detroit gear on, fitted hat, jersey. But the main thing it was life change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ray let us sit around for 10 years. But, you know, he had to go off and work. So, and, and work a real job. You feel what I'm saying, Mo? So I never tripped out. Like, I used to be mad like the studio ain't open. Um, but a lot of my music that I did in Detroit, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> Not, don't sound bad, but it's like, you had Debbie Hoes. I hate when Debbie Hoes be wasting my time coming on the track soft like some wet vaginas. <laughs> For all you Debbie Hoes swearing that you rapping, fairy tale tracking with the Beachy jacket. I'm coming on this track. Oh, we had bars. Now, all up in his little guts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but no, we too, had right? no. Me and Ouija so did right. gangster, straight music. Nice. Um, but then I had um, DOA, Detroit Organized Alliance. Huh. And so um, I had Detroit Organized Alliance. I had the um, South um, Orange Hawk dudes. I had like thirty. I had thirty young men. That I was managing at the time, and I just took them all over the city uh -huh. to just tear the city down. And um, what I can say is, I only listen. I listen to other people's music, but I only listen to Detroit music because that's all I have. Every even today, even in this era of computer technology, everybody come and they see me put a CD in my hand. Mm -hmm. I have over, and this is no cap. 4,000 CDs in my closet of only Detroit music and I'll be looking at it like, I mean, I, every artist in the city of Detroit, female singers, oh, rappers, you got you, you, I got all the Ouija's, all the Ouija songs, I don't throw nothing away, I have probably every song Ouija done in the Detroit for Life records. Hey man, big shout out to uh, Six Mile Day Mo that uh, June 10 here. You say what up, Ouija? What's up? You know what my What's name, up? My uh, brother. Hey, Cheryl, so look here. The, uh, oh, the uh, award <laughs> award show is June 26. 26. And we're having it at O'Hara Park that's right behind Harry Ford on the picture wood size. And I want everybody to show up this time. Now, people ask me why I don't... Um, I haven't seen any um, flyers or anything. Why haven't I seen any flyers? They're on the, on the DET Awards group. Oh, okay. And the events. I mean, you mean, y'all, the DET Awards group is popping. Look, it's the first and only branded group by Facebook. Our group, our group is branded by Facebook. Word. When you share in the DET Awards group, it goes globally. You know what? I was just going to say your um, group is the only one that, like, it gives me, like, a choice. Like, do I want to put it in the group, too, or just 
by itself. That's because the group is branded. You can actually get paid that. for why, your why content in the group. Do that? Yeah, but I, I don't want to charge people because a lot of people like it's like Chero. You know, you can be charging people to advertise in the group. First of all, let's give Detroit artists a chance sometimes to get their stuff together. Detroit artists don't even know that they can get paid for the content in my group. They're going to start paying attention after the awards show. You can get paid for your content in the group in the DET Awards. They let you know that. in the D Facebook calls that the first community group. That is history. We are making history online, and we really got to start realizing. Cool I know just, you know, so um, that is one thing. When Facebook emailed me, like, about six months ago, they was like, wow, great job with your community group. Yeah. You know, and then they gave me all of these tools that I'm not even using yet. So I got to actually get scammers out of the group for y'all because scammers are hitting me up. Yeah. Trying to get, when y'all see those people putting those cash app things yeah. and those videos, those stupid kind of videos, those are people that's trying to get y'all information. So who, who is the uh, host of the uh, award show this year? That would be me and Seven Steels, and I never have hosted the DET Awards, but this year I am because a lot of people, they ask me two questions. they like, why you don't bring, first of all, nobody big to the DET Awards? I feel like everybody is big. Right. Everybody is an artist to me. It would the be DET, way bigger if everybody is mentioned this come. The DET Awards is a recognition awards. It's for people who need to be recognized in front of their community leaders. Your community leaders have money for you for events. Funding comes through the federal government and state government right. for radio stations, for events. If I'm getting you there with Councilman Tate and um, Leslie Love, she just retired. And these Councilman Tate has national artists, mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't know that. Put them, put them in a studio. He asks me all the time. That's why he's sitting there because he's looking to see who's he's gonna make a national artist next. Not through no record company, right. but independently right. through. Um, so the people that I have there, you might not even know that they got studios, they got funding for what you need to do, and um, <coughs> things like that. Now the reason why I stopped bringing big artists in in 2015. You know that my kid's um, dad, Titus Heath, was Doughboy's Cash Out um, manager first in Brightmo with um, Action Jack, that's my cousin, and all of that. And um, I had came from California. I did not know what was going on in Detroit. And so I had invited Vezo. He was getting an award. I called his manager, Chanel. And I had called Chess. And I was like, that's why you see me giving Chaz his award out somewhere in Troy. But I didn't know that they had the situation to where they had a fight and all of this crazy stuff went on. So at that time, Minister Farrakhan was in town and I always go to where he invites 70 women to the DIA. And so Minister Farrakhan, um, we reached out to him and he talked to Chaz and um, Bezo or whatever for like the peace treaty and you know how Trick Trick had his words to say. So the long story short, I didn't know that they were beefing like that. So that's why a lot of people don't, a lot of big, big guys only showing up basically. Well, because some people always have an issue. Now, this is what really made me really ill. Um, when I gave a award show in 2015, I started taking pictures with these security guys. And I'm not going to say any names, but the person that I was promoting with at the time and his promoter, they, when my when my family members saw that who I was taking a picture with, they had just had ran up in my cousin's house and put guns on him and his family for the music equipment. But when he saw them together, he realized who set him up. Mm. And he was like, I'm about to come down here to that Wayne State. Because I was just taking pictures like, because that year we had payroll. Um, we were giving out a lot of awards, but the promoters I was with that year had my cousin set up for his studio well, equipment. Right. It's always just... It's always something. I'm like, oh my God. You know, and I, um, I'll just let my cousin know, boy, we down here at Wayne State. I look at it like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you throw events like that, and uh, shout out to my brother... DJ Culinary sitting over here. Hey, cut. Got my man Culinary over here. When you throw events like what you do, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to, what was that, the third 
That was the second one. Second so, annual award show. One, first one we had 265 people. This year we pushed almost 1,400 people through the door. Was that 1,400? Okay. So with that being said, uh, we can't we can't worry about the people that don't show up. You know what I'm saying? Although it pissed me off as a as a fan and a spectator, I hate to see people uh, get yeah. awards and then yeah, not they, get, they, they, But I'm saying if you're there. right, you we're talking to you, we're communicating with you, and you're not showing up in the awards cause. Yeah. It's like, um, yeah, and then you hear fifteen hundred dollars on my trophy. Then yeah. you hear people that say, um, "Oh, what I'm gonna get? Just an award? What are we getting?" Um, you're getting recognition, like uh, much you, recognition. You supposed hey, to be getting royalty checks anyway, like. I'm gonna tell you something on air, bro. Two years ago, when you had that event, you know, Tone Tone that was there. Uh, That's what I only, I only could see it. I only saw it on Facebook. And I tell these people, and I wish, I hope people that's listening can learn something. You know what I'm saying? By me being in this position, it's always like, who is he? Who is he to throw an award show? How they doing that voting process? How they win and this and that and that and this? So I, 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 I hear, I, I got a lot of intake, you know what I'm saying? But my position has always been, since I saw the first one, I got to meet that guy. Not to get a fucking award. Right. But just I gotta meet that so guy. You know what I'm saying? Up. And just in a short year's time, not only was I nominated, I was there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be honest with you. Shit, you was in the media pit. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest yeah. with you. I didn't expect to win. You know I didn't expect to win? Because I don't expect 1,400 people to support me. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man. Especially that when you, when you I was nominated in both years and didn't win. Yeah, when you gave me the proof and I was nominated, I was respect them, though, bro. Can I, I, was, I, was, I, I, I them, tell y'all something? I'm being for real. Like, I look at that BET Awards group. Do y'all know how many people support y'all? Like, though, that, that's why I did it like that. Because those numbers of clicks of votes do not, Ouija, I didn't nominate you. Somebody in the DET award group nominated Ouija, even no, though I no, nominate I Ouija every year. Look, yeah. every year Ouija's on my list regardless. Yeah. Ouija, are you coming? I'll call you, don't you? Ouija, you coming? You showing up? What you doing? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm like, just thinking in situations that it's more haters than lovers. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, it's like no matter but what they're hating for, because we want to get because some, people, some people just, some people just, you know, you know, think about, you know, uh, what was that belly and my, and they was in they, what was that in Nebraska and my man was eating a banana. He had no reason to be hating on them, but that, people just do it. You know, that's the thing. Right? Why you can't like, just love though? I don't know her. Why you can't right? just love? Why you yeah, gotta hate? Like, I don't know how her is from, but you know, I got nomination period on my yeah, which is like two months. Facts. And then you get two months of vote. Facts. It takes one fucking nomination to get yeah. on my ballot. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, that's I true. had I had motherfuckers mad at me, right? Because they didn't get a nomination. And your fucking cousins are on my shit. Right. And didn't nominate you. Facts. Talk to your people. Right. Stop coming to me because you salty. Because people you don't, people don't I talk about it all talk the time. Talk to your people. Yeah. People don't no, I talk about it all the time how uh you know, like I throw, I do radio, and I never heard of your name. You know, you can't be mad at anybody yeah, if your yeah, name. Yeah. Not, you know, again, your name. It's like Ouija. That motherfucking name keep coming up. Then I see it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be in the. You gotta be in the the eyesight. Out of out of my out of uh, out of sight, out of mind. I definitely believe that. You know, that what is I'm saying? very true. No. Yeah. However, the uh, phrase that's from the south that always rings true to me is just because it's old to me. It's new to you. Brand new. Right? Yeah. I know niggas right now in Atlanta that know Ouija. Right? Right. right. But I know th niggas in Texas. When I go spin in Texas and I, d I drop some Ouija. Yeah. Because he got shit that rides in Texas too. Right. They're like, damn. Who is that? Right. It's Ouija. Right. You got to treat everybody the same well, way. That's right. Like, you that's right. Just, like, I don't get one of them artists. They get mad if you in the city and you ain't heard of them. Nigga, you just ain't crossed my path yet. I'm saying. It was bound to happen. So oh, look, no, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So the second one is is done. Uh, I deem it as a a, a success. Being there. Success. How you how you how you feel, how you feel afterwards, especially looking at all the videos and the pictures. I ain't even dropped everything yet. Hey dog, 
Yeah, like it's, it's a lot I still, of I still got almost twenty. I know you can't really. I know you can't really emails with like a thousand files in each of them. I know you can't really decipher like when a motherfucker text what he what he said. How this is what I was saying. It's why the fuck I ain't in nobody fucking pictures, bro. You are in pictures. I, I ain't saw one picture. picture. Hey, what video? It's a lot of bitches. I be like, I don't need no pictures. 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 I be in the corners and shit. I be chilling. Like, I literally, I still got 10,000 pictures I ain't went through yet. Word. And I got almost probably about another 500 videos. We ain't even broke down the footage yet. Right. So hey, yeah. so look, like nigga, I got more. I love, you. I love the energy you brought to my room. I love it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but listen here, okay. So you know the the garage door opening room and what? How you get that? Where you, where you come up with that at? Is that is, is that a? I'm just saying. I'm saying is that somewhere where they do that at? Or no, that's what, no. not what you no. saw in there. No. No. Um. When he first told me about it, I'm like, so all I seen in those videos the first time I knew it was beautiful. This is what happened. I seen it on video, so I saw it. I knew it was beautiful. But when I pulled up, I was like, I did you think about that? When I'm walking through the hall, I'm like, okay. So that's <laughs> what I heard. When he first told me, about it, like I said, when he first told me, but I've never heard that venue. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I was, he was at my house, and I'm like, okay, uh, yeah, it's gonna be dope. All right. But then when he video called me right. from that bitch and showed me that bitch on the walkthrough. That bitch is called. Okay. Yeah. So this I see that. I did a club last year. Right. Right. She do a part. Uh-huh. So I can't do a part now because she do the part. Why okay. you can't do the part? Because I don't do nothing that nobody do. Like if it's your if it's your thing, a lot of us that's like your that, thing. So let me yeah. so I don't I wouldn't do it. Let me interact. Let me interact right here. Okay, so a part of my, uh, I have, poli- I use some of my rapping in my mayor campaign. So we have um, strengthening unity mm-hmm. within the community. And I have unity, Y-O-U-N-I-T-Y. Right. Okay, so um, one of the other candidates for another um, position has been using my Y-O-U-N-I-T-Y. So one thing I learned just being all over the world, I am a trendsetter. You're, I'm, I didn't come up with having community gatherings in the park. I learned that with Yo-Yo and Ice Cube what? in California. Yeah. And, and let me say this. If it's going to save you some money and you can do more for the artist and do more for your Big event, facts. that's why Big I'm facts. having and, and it. In the, listen, yeah, it. paying $1,000 right now for, or well, okay, the State Theater, they want to give me that $4,000. I told them, yes, I'm going to do something. It's hot right now. We want to do the park right now. You can do the park. You can do the park. That's what we listen to. No, I, I, told not, I get what you're saying. No, I told that you what to me. Listen to me. As far as this mayor campaign, and we do know how I am and how serious I am about spreading togetherness. Because if we can spread so much hate and so division, y'all are men. When y'all wake up, y'all can set the whole day for the whole family and everybody be straight. You feel what I'm saying? We got to start changing our mindset in the city of Detroit about he biting on me, she it wasn't biting on me. About bite. But no, I understand you want to be yeah. original, and but that's understand, it right look, here. I didn't make the parks. That's what the parks are. Look, that's there's, a, there's a lady named Grace that would love if you called her because the parks cost $750. Exactly. I know how to get the park for free from Monday through Thursday, and I share the information. You can have your event in the park for free from Monday to Thursday. Bellow, Rudge, Chandler Park. Bell we Isle should is be the doing. Why I don't do park. We should be doing more of that collectively as promoters. Then we should do it. We should do it. Because what I'm trying to do, I, well, is I totally, I totally, I totally what understand I'm though. To, oh no, but I totally understand though. You got the DDT awards. They got the, uh, the uh, street, street certified awards. I totally understand that, you know, I want to be different in those aspects. You right. know what I'm saying? I totally understand it because it's the same. It, it, set, it sets us apart. You know what I'm saying? You got all awards. You know what I'm saying? I've had the awards at Wayne State. I've had the awards at Northwest Activity Center. I've had the awards at, what is that, uh, downtown? What is the big one? 
um, when we did Magic Music Hall and they had us. I've had it all over the place. You understand what I'm saying? But if a yo-yo can leave her city of Los Angeles, mm -hmm. California, and come move all the way down here and have the yo-yo school of hip-hop here for our children for many years, it don't matter where. All I want to do is us. To, I know that everybody got their club stuff and stuff. Listen, that's why when I went downtown and everybody was like, a uh, future candidate mayor, how you feel about downtown? It's dusty. Well, yeah. it doesn't have anything for families, anything for communities, and that's what we need. Well, that. I think that's what uh, what Luigi was saying for the block party. That's what the block party come yeah. on, right? Yeah. We pulling up a party, right? Yeah. It ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no hidden weak ass hip hop politics to it. Uh -huh. It ain't none of that shit. It's yeah, first bring it in. Her. It's free to get in. The niggas always talking about how much something costs. Right. Right. Just it's bring free. it in. And the DC Awards is also free to get in, and people are upset at me about that. But we do ask for donations when you come or before you come. Because Why are you upset? Because they like you can. Okay, listen. I've tried to work with two or three promoters this year. I really, really tried. But when one of them asked me how much we going to charge them for sitting down, bruh, I'm having a citywide senior picnic right in the middle of my DET awards. Some of the graduates from some of the high schools wasn't able to walk with their cap and gown. They're walking across the stage. My sister, Dee Dee's son, was murdered. She's walking across that stage at the DET awards and don't hear her son's name. You understand what I'm saying? So how am I going to charge people to sit down? We charging them to get in. How much are we going to charge them to sit down in a seat? That's yeah, what man. one of the promoters I was That's working. very commendable, man. That's very commendable. You know, so. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, my, my wife, uh, you know, my wife and Didi communicates a lot. Yeah. Uh, we were just talking about that this morning, how she's still going to get this cap and gown and, um. No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't even know she was talking about that event, though. We was, yeah. That's yeah. Well, we she's doing it at um, on the fifteenth. We were supporting her somewhere else, and then on the nineteenth, you know, Diddy always bring prom or something to the DET awards. Yeah. That's what she do. You know what I'm saying? So I can't charge people to sit down. I'm, uh, well, I'm gonna charge the seniors. To see. Oh, we that's them to get in the gate. Mm. First of all, I'm an advocate for seniors and youth. Well, listen. We so, all do events, and we all understand that there is an overhead. And sometimes, if you can get away with doing an overhead, you, you get away with it. You know what I'm saying? But the fact is, you know what I'm saying? We, I think, all of us wish we could do it. Don't you wish one day or someday or whatever you you, you, you could have did that for free or whatever? But do do it always at a cost mm -hmm. because people will be coming at me, and I'm like, listen, bro. If I gotta come out of my pocket, why shouldn't you? I do. I do, I do, I do depend, one charitable event a year. It depends on what the temperature is with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do stuff. one charitable event a year that I don't make no money on, but right. I do that to give back to my community. Okay, I do two charitable events in Atlanta a year, and then the rest, everything else, is for profit. But I'm okay. saying we got to buy the venue, money. we got to pay for the DJ, we got to pay for the security. Let me tell you something that I learned at Unity Cathedral when, when I was out with Deidre Cadden and all of that and we was going around doing our praise and worship. When I say I would rather get receive a donation than some tickets at the door, <laughs> just like with our Michigan Queens football, our game is Saturday. You know, we oh, have yeah, Michigan about that, Queens. Too. Our game is Saturday at Butso. When people, really? Yes. This is our second game at Bustle. We asked for a $10 donation. Number one, we're at Bustle. Right. They're donating us to a beautiful up field and probably helped us with some other stuff. So what do I look like getting my $10 at the gate? When the when Grace came, that's over the park, neighborhood parks and recreation, I didn't even know who she was. She was like, yeah. I'm glad y'all asking for donations you know, instead of charging right? people tickets at a free. Now, Hold I, up. You do know you don't have to look at it like that, though, because you got referees, right? Yeah. They got to get paid. They do. You know what I'm saying? So, again, 
it's always a cost because it shouldn't have to always come out of your pocket. Nice. That's, that's why I said, that's why I said, yo, listen, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, that's, that's why, why I said, it's it's the temperature of the event, like what scale of the yeah. event. Some, because some stuff you can get away with, okay, I can do this for free, I can get back to this, I can do that. But then there's some that's on other levels where you got to be like, you know what, I, I want to, it, but I got to do this and do that. Like our event, yeah. like, like, you know, we, people paying for spots for vendors, it ain't no secret, none of that. If you want to be a vendor, you can pay for your spot, do your thing, get your money, sell out, we're going to promote you. Right. The whole time we're going to promote you at the event, before the event, during the event, everything. But it's on your hustle. Right. You know what I'm saying? So... Everything we doing is for a reason. Mm-hmm. It ain't just, oh, we're going to get a couple dollars, whatever it is, but they split. Mm-hmm. But, like, the only thing we coming out of our pocket for this block party, we paying for our own personal security. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, see, Everything the Detroit else. police is my security. You know they're going to come to all my events anyway. So I don't have to pay for security because they're going to be there. Anyway, as a part of the crowd, one of them might be getting an award. I understand what Ouija's saying. Mine's is a little different because... Even with my campaign as a mayor, the reason why I'm spinning around all the other candidates, because when you go to my website, Sure Well for Mayor, and you hit donate, it's the youth fund, the youth campaign, which we already have the um, the the center where you can call in. Hey, you and, know I'm learning stuff on you right now, right? Right. So and start using that word donate. It's free, but can you donate? Uh. You can, well, listen, when you donate. To the you campaign, all of the funds you donate go back into the community. When you donate to the DET awards, I do, Mo donated last year. He donated monetary gifts. He donated other gifts. Fire. And after the DET <laughs> awards, we had a lot of money of donations, and I showed that money in the group. I said, "Look, y'all, look what we got," mm-hmm. because I'm transparent with everything. Look what we got. What do y'all want to do with it? Of course, it was a few dollars for everybody that worked, but everybody was like, shoot, I like the giving because when we were giving and people gave back, that's what I'm trying to get people to see about a word about tickets and about asking for donations. Because when you ask for donations, Ouija, somebody donated $1,500 to me last year. It was a $1,500 check in here. And I was like... It just totally, one of the guys who owned the dispensary, and he wants to be anonymous. I was like, whoa, do I take this to the bank for real? I was like, you know, you put 1500 on here. He was like, great job. He was happy that I wasn't hounding them. He was like, everywhere I go to perform, they want to charge me 250 He got songs with Sada, you know what I'm saying? And, um... He was like, when I come in, they want to they wanna charge the artist 250 or somebody seeing 20 or $30 at the door. And that make an artist just feel like, I know it make me feel like that. I'm not, when you're not pressed and you're not hard up, you ain't worried about it. That's why I said, it's free, but you tr- better trust and believe. We got donation buckets all over the place. We even do like the church. We take the time. We get the music up. Don't we, Mo? <laughs> then we pass those trays around last that is year. Beautiful. We pass the buckets around because I learned that performing with um, the church groups, when churches don't charge tickets, we would get the whole Joe Louis Arena. I'm not being funny. Deidre Cannon used to be leaving with 50, 60, 70, 80. $80,000 when we leave the Joe Louis Arena after a Say actually hour. Man. <laughs> One hour praise I'm and here. worship. I ain't here. Look, look, I'm here. I'm here. So I'm not saying that my event is free, but it's the way you correlate and you ask. When you ask people for donations, they feel more freely to give. Some people and, don't have it, and that's cool. And I don't want people to, to be that's able. Cool. I don't want that. people to um, come and not able to get in the now. That's why I do that because I have felt like in my career I have been somewhere that I should have been in, but I was on the outside looking in. And maybe I may have had to pay a bill or maybe I didn't have the money. I show love throughout the year. So my one night a year, I want mine. And a thousand people came and gave me mine. Ah. I show love all year. And see, I, I do free tapes. 
I do free showcases. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Uh, Shit. The Street Certified Awards? Yeah. I'm coming for mine that night. And I wish I, I, I had have been here. I wish I had known wherever your awards is next time, I really would like We're to We're going to be the same person, ain't you? And That's why I was going to ask. So do you start planning now? Do, do you... I put my deposit down the next day. Word. Same now part. See, now see, I have issues because during COVID, I put my deposit down a couple of places and I ain't got my money back yet. That's why I'm using the park because they kept telling me, um, I'm like, my deposit? That's my big Where's my money? Right um, because nobody now. can tell us where our money is. And I've had money tied up since 2020. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm at the park. But my, do my um, nomination's been going on since last year, October. I because I try to keep people mind. Busy I, I study everybody's show. You know, if so, you do something like what I do, I'm going to on your head. And so you don't even know. We, what we do is we keep the nominations and voting going until the day of, I'm a, of I'm the right. actual. Um, I start mine a month before. I print the names on their trophies. So I don't go that long. And shit, that shit took six but months. Like I was I'm not saying. Real, not, real quick before we get too far off of the awards, uh, I know there's other stuff uh, she has to discuss, but like, just off of the last two award shows that this man did do, um, like the first one I was nominated on, that was my first time ever being nominated that I knew about publicly, you know what I'm saying, with social media and everything, yeah. people tagged into me, like, yeah, he nominated on this, I didn't know, I was out running errands with the kids, whatever it was, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying, and um, that just alone being nominated, being recognized, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's that's a good feeling for any artist. If you're an R&B yeah. artist, a painter, whatever it is, just yeah. to be acknowledged. You feel me? Like even yeah. the winning thing is a whole another level. But just to be recognized that one or ten people or a hundred people say, you know what? Let's put dog on this. You know what? Let's make his name known or his barbershop known on this award show, whatever it is, that's a good feeling. Then to do it two years in a row, you feel me? Mm -hmm. This is my DJ. Right. And, I, and I didn't know, know. but hold on, wait, wait. This is my DJ. Did I win an award? No. Because it ain't no homeboy or some shit. I don't even know. I didn't even put his name on the damn ballot. You and you know, know what, what I'm saying? saying? Listen, I, I never expect, I never, I hate the, I hate the fact that you can't do nothing without somebody saying, Yeah, because somebody thought I was going to win. Like, oh, DJ you know, you know I do the showstoppers. It's, it's always some motherfucker leaving the showstoppers mad, bro. You know what I'm saying? They One thing about want. this shit, ain't nobody ever going to be happy. Yeah. yeah, yeah somebody yeah, always leaving yeah, everybody. Bro. My highlight of this year awards, though, was my daughter being there. Yeah. That was yeah. one of the dope moments. Yeah. Yeah. Was that, was my, that was my highlight because my daughter had never seen me perform live in her life. All she just seen is music yeah. video. And even if he, even he was oh. injured. But she was still she there. there. Uh -huh. And she was geeked about it. Her yeah. Snapchat was going crazy. You know what right. I'm saying? So it, my son, when I got to the house, my son like, oh, y'all y'all going crazy. Right. This and that's all of her snap. You feel me? He's showing me her snap. <laughs> right. yeah. So you know what I'm saying? And she enjoyed some of the other artists. Right. You know what I'm saying? She was turned up. She was turned up the whole night. She was the whole night. Listen, my little sister... Don't have social media. She don't come out. She don't got Instagram. She don't got right. Facebook. All she do is listen to Sound Two Nation. When I say she was at the show, she came. You know what I'm saying? When I say it be a show for these people, yeah, See, they're uh, like, oh, that, that's, oh, that's Ouija. You know what I'm saying? No, like it, it is. Yeah. And then like when you when I came and then you had the sister girls perform last year. Yeah. Uh, see, well that's important to me because a lot of people don't know that we partner with um Huntington Branch Bank uh -huh. and you can take your children in there and, and open up a parenting account for ten dollars and they're supposed to get their royalties. Especially for the award show because the DET Awards is a national and neat recognized show. The DET Awards came from the BET Awards. From when my daughter Taisha got a BET Signing Star Award when she was 15 years old. Right. You know what I'm saying? So at first, remember, it was the Community Arts Award. I was given that at Wayne State in 2000 at the Down Under, at the VIP Down Under. That's where we were given it at. But we turned it into the DET Awards back in 2013 and I was able to get the permission from BET 
to do the DET awards. I always wondered that. Yeah, I got permission. That's why I can use it. Why? Because I got connects. So, um, for real. So, listen, we're really supposed to be doing that with the Spirit of Detroit Awards or with the BMI Awards. So that's why I shot it in with the DET Awards. Every state had a recognition awards. I mean, every um, yeah, state had a recognition awards but Michigan. Okay, so look, we're about to go to a break real quick. Play a couple songs, then we're going to come back. Can I make a request? Yeah. Can I get songs that I refuse? I've seen it too. Hey dog, hey dog, I love that song. You already know. Hey, I just want to make a request. Yeah, we're going to come back, we're going to close out, but first we're going to get into this new song by the Ouija, man. Pick a side, man. Um, oh, that's Coalition Certified. That's man. Coalition Certified? <laughs> well, let's, well, let's make sure it's Sound 2 Nation Certified too. Yeah. So. Go ahead and introduce this though. Uh, yeah, it's my new single, Pick a Side, man. My DJ calling there, he on that boy. We going crazy. Let's pick a side. Hook it up. Wait, wait, you no, you got to start that over. They got to hear me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all don't go nowhere, man. Y'all keep it locked, man. Y'all listen to the sound too. Station radio, the best in the world, the best in the nation. You know the rest. You got, you got to start that over. We got to get that. Street culinary, 
Street Certified War show is going to be in the park. There's going to be a bunch of motherfuckers out there saying, oh, he just did it because Cheryl did it. You know what I'm saying? Why couldn't we just do it together? I know. I got, yeah. Um, Ray was showing me. Yeah. But my thing is, I don't give a damn that people going to say that. When it's certain. That's just her thing. Right. I do my own way. Not saying that it would be right in her ways, but like, I'm not going to do nothing where somebody got her in way. I'm going to always innovate my own spot. Same part, you got to have that sound system. I'm sure they got the sound They got it. They got it. My, my, my same part set. But this is the thing. Yeah, Ain't nobody gonna try to come behind me and go to the same part. I mean, you know. I done did the same part, though. You know, Detroit needs something official. We did it in so, I mean, like, 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 like how, how did y'all feel about the hip hop awards it before, the, before, before, um, before, 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 uh, um, before, 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 the same reason that other people stop it. You get tired of all that shit. Are you feel about it? I'm not about to stop this. I'm 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 about to stop this.
from the hood. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play music right now. What's that? Okay, come on. Yeah, they get they get in at seven twenty eight. How many do you need for the day? Flash, flash, flash. Oh, I ain't leaving yet. I'm not leaving until Sunday. Flash it, bro. This part, man. Yeah, they're right, exactly. Uh, I uh, earned me a nice vacation. Yeah, yeah, I got still got a chisel that shit. That is chill. The door open, chill. Like, like it's open. We don't know what's open. Doesn't say Greenville. Yeah. That's my that's chill. That's my daughter. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I didn't think about that. I'm thinking about how I missed the store. Oh, the I don't know how much final I got. Oh, Not for 15. Okay. Hey. Not for 15. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. I could probably squeeze about. Yeah, Leah, come on. Let me look at you. Let me look at that, man. I'll just get you back. I, 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 uh, I'll tell you something for sure in a minute. Let me uh, get you back. His son, my dad, and body works and shit and all that good shit. Hey, go. Oh, thanks. Where'd you get that shit? That's the dude you be listening to on my bad music. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, boy, what's real? Those bad songs. You don't know what you're trying to grab? I might know my face. Yeah, you know it. You're from the hood. Yeah, get that chair. Go over here. I'm going to put it out there before I go. We'll go back over here. Go out. Put it out there. So, I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to go out for the city. I'm going to go out for the city. I'm going to go out for the city. Oh, no, you heard that, right? <laughs> tired right now. He was like, she don't need to see him. He's been working on that. Give me a lot of shit. Uh, for the rest of the year. Oh, for the year? Yeah. Uh, the first year I'll be back. Good. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm going to go to the party. I'm going to go to the party. Yeah, so, I got a major announcement. Uh huh. Black Business Barbecue coming back. Black Business oh, Barbecue. Oh, okay. Taking over the legendary mile, uh -huh. doing it on three different sections of the mile. We, and we, we back, we um, back, we back. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that's been tuned in, rocking with us today. It's been a very busy day so far, man. Uh, shout out to Cheryl bringing all this hey. beautiful energy into the building. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got Ouija the hustler in here. Yeah, yeah, I got uh, DJ yeah. Culinary in the, here. The who? DJ Culinary? The one and only, the, the world famous, the world famous <laughs> yeah, DJ yeah. Cutter, <laughs> and uh, just walking in, I got the homegirl hey, shells in here. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Uh, what a good day! Uh, so look, uh, DT Awards. What else we said we needed to talk about? Um. Well, June the eighth, June the nineteenth, uh -huh. which is actually my birthday. I'm going to have a meet and greet. On and it's called Unity Day on Finkel and Steel at my son's barbershop. Uh -huh. It's like Finkel and Myers, and I just want everybody to come out. I know everybody doing stuff because it's Ancestors Day. Yep, I'm from the same hood, you know. So right. um, we have a Unity Day. Um, also, I really want everybody to come out to the DT Awards. I got some surprises going on, like a few people getting awards they don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? They could be just sitting right and you could just be sitting right in their face and you don't even know and I'm just excited about that. Hey, like I told you before, the fact that you asked about my daughters was just, you know what I'm saying, all by itself, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just to just give them something to do was just big for me. I mean, you know, culinary axe bomb this year, but you know what I'm saying, uh, maybe he might axe bomb next year while they at Shane Park, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... Uh, we definitely want to support the children. That's what the DT Awards is about. I didn't know Super T was going to be there. I, man, I had one. I couldn't do it last year because yeah. we was at the club. 
But the original plan is for one baby to open up. Yeah. So every year. So. Super T did a motherfucking thing. Super T turned that bitch up. Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, she did. But she got down there and she did that little thing. Yeah. The sh- oh, the slide. Yeah, the glide. Man, they glide. Glide. Yeah. So now I gotta Shout out to T-Game, man. I got to get a little competition in. You know, I'm not competitive, but just so everybody knows. And that Super T is going to be the first award. Yeah. It's from the DET yeah. Awards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know. But listen, um... We definitely, when Ouija know this about me, because I was going to tell you, even me, uh, Ouija's wife, uh, Chocolate, have some songs, a couple of songs together. I've always been about family and community. Mm-hmm. It's like, even if we do have an award show or something at a bar, I'm going to let the people know, hey, no serving, no drinks, because I'm going to have kids up in here. So it's definitely, you uh, in our race, is the black... It, we really need to invest in our children because they are our future. Let me ask you this. And a lot of races do, and we don't. And so I commend all of you guys, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real, mm-hmm. you two shells. Let me, let me ask you this, Cheryl. Out to children teaching them dance, and those are arts. Let me ask you this. How serious are you with this mirror thing? I'm so serious. Like I said, I was a nominee, now I'm a candidate. For those of you who don't know, this is my second time running for mayor. In 2008, I beat Dave Bingo. Wow. But it was so corrupt. Our city was so corrupt at the time, and it was a temporary race. If you ran in that race, you couldn't run for a full term. Mm-hmm. So you really could be looking at your new mayor of the city, Trey. You know, music keeps me laid back and stuff, but I'm really, I'm really a beast on these politics. I'm policies is not look, no game. I'm opening up know? my door for you right now to use this as one of your, you know. Well, we want to bring a block party here, so that's what me and Shells do. You know, use this as one of your candidate. What they call it? The yes, please let yeah, us yeah, use this as a campaign yes. home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because it's about listen, y'all. This is so for real. I'm serious, and I'm especially talking to the men because we need you guys. To be in the right mind, we need you to be right physically and mentally. I know it's hard because the world try to bring black men down. Black women try to disrespect black men and take them out. They, they're trying to demasculate men right now as we speak. And so it's hard. It's easy to give up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And until our race realize that, like, and our black men realize that you are our leaders. Like, I'm not afraid to say, like, People be like, Cheryl, what's your religious things and stuff? I believe that black men is the God and we're the goddesses and the world is messed up because our balance is messed up. And our and we we black men has been taken away from his children with child support and stuff like that and been divided from his children for many, many years and we need to stand up and make some policies. And Detroit is the best place to do that because we're all black city. So so you the mayor. What 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 Type of change you go make? First thing we're gonna do is work with public safety. And when you're talking about public safety, you're just not talking about crime alone. We have too many children that's being killed in their own homes by firearms. Mm-hmm. We got too many children and young children going out of the suburbs. Our black people and let them know that violence is not the answer. We need to give mental health services for real, not no play. Everybody can stand some. We had a week care center going on right now so it's not our administration is already doing things so we're over at the recare center right now and that's at Don Bosco and that's under Joyce Dr. Joyce she's with the straight back everybody on my administration is already doing something to help the community Mm -hmm. and what we did just made the crew and made it together so if you need mental health services you can go to Don Bosco now we got people to volunteer an hour if any of you wanted to volunteer an hour of your time just for a month. I mean, just for an hour, one hour a month, because that's one hour a month that somebody you can talk to, you know. So we're, we're strengthening unity in the community. We need to make our, our community stronger, and the way we do that is by making our family stronger and getting things in line, the man, the woman, the children. That's real. That's all that we have, and our gen, our race has been affected by 200, 340 years of oppression. 
Yeah. And that's what it is. And it has us angry at each other. We don't know what we angry. We know we angry. We don't know what we angry about. And we taking out on each other in the household. In the, in the home. That's first. We got to get ourselves together in our homes first. You Let know? me ask you this. What do you know about the, uh, the Greenway walkway? Greenway? River walk. The Greenway is being extended right now. So know that someone, a black woman owns the River Walk. It's mm -hmm. called the River Rock Controversy Program. So um, if I'm not mistaken, that's all on donations. And so people from the city have donated to extend you know, it all the way down to Bell Out. Yeah, I was say, I've yeah. always dreamed no, of that. No, 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 no. I think we might not be talking about the same thing. Okay. It's called the, the Greenway something. Something that got to do with Joe Lewis when they're making this walkway. Well, you're gonna all the way to, to Bell But uh, all the way around the city, though. Yeah. It's like a they building this thing. And, uh, so it's already in place. So do you see the um, bike patterns that you have? Yeah, that type of deal. That is already in place. If you see it, you see the green markers. Those because we're trying to institute walking, back riding, getting more yeah, neighborhood yeah. things going on. But I, that was always my dream to walk from the riverfront all the way to Bell Out because we, I don't know how old you guys are, but. Um, do you remember when we used to have the pedal boats mm -hmm. and you could pedal all the way from the river rock to the um, mm -hmm. Bell Isle? I remember that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. and also. I got a request for when you win. Yeah. See, you bring Bobby on that. So, uh, some shit to do. Now, what, what we would have to do <laughs> is now. This one, this, one, this is what my proposal is to do. So I was told that this land was already taken away because just pay attention, y'all. The reason why I'm asking all of the citizens of Detroit to be accountable is because in a minute, I, this has happened in California, other places, New York. We won't have no place to live. It's not about the Ragley houses. It's about the land that we're on. You have our some people in our um, administration now that's selling $50 million worth of lands. Somebody told me today they went and seen a house around the corner from them, and it's 150000 just to move in. You can't afford that. So we need, this is our land. This is our land from our history. I should have brought my flag in because I'm giving everybody in Detroit a flag of Detroit because you got to know about your history. This is British colonies. The French and British had a war. Our ancestors was here. So that we were black bottom. So what happened to Detroit is Detroit was predominantly indigenous in the 1800s. All of a sudden, a fire burnt the whole city of Detroit up. And so if you look at the new flag that they made in 1891 and you see the two black women, those were two black women that were standing in the middle of the city after it all got burnt the ruins and those women um, had did whatever they could do to bring the city back up. That happened to your ancestors. Okay, for real. And then the second thing that happened was um, Black Bottom. The stock markets, they said, crashed. But what was ironic about in Philadelphia, that's when the planes came in, the bomb, Wall Street. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden that week, too, the stock market crashed. That's what happened with Black Bottom. Your city was owned by your ancestors. It was Black Bottom. So there was your carpenters, doctors, lawyers. Your ancestors didn't need to get food stamps and anything like that. So when the stock market crashed, Black Bottom went down. And instead of people helping the citizens of Detroit that they have lived off of that helped build our city back up from the terrible fire we had in the 1800s, instead of helping our ancestors in Black Bottom, they built the freeway through Black Bottom and build a project, which was Brewster Project, because mm -hmm. our ancestors was homeless. They had nowhere to live. You still have people. What freeway was that? The right. Lodge Freeway. Right. The Davidson Freeway was the first freeway ever built That's in the right. United States. Yeah. Okay. And then it was the Lodge Freeway. And then they built the Jeffries Freeway to further cut off the Jeffrey Projects. To, because our ancestors was homeless. Some of our people are still homeless from their ancestors being homeless from Black Bottom. It has been a continued generational effect. 
So um, to say all of that is it's a this is our land. When I say this is our land, I'm serious. We don't know that we own the land. People outside Detroit, they want our natural resources. We own the water. That's a totem pole down there. That's like you got, uh, you have Canada and Detroit. Mm. Then you got to think about, because I've been on both sides of the globe. California, Texas. This is the mm. only way to enter into mm. the United States mm. on this part. That's a totem pole down there. So we really have to raise our flags of the city of Detroit. It's hard. People don't like each other. People hate each other for no reason. But if we don't, you that old saying, you, united we stand, divided we fall. It is real. It's not just words. It is real. So my campaign is about getting whoever I can to come together, write the policies we need to write so people stop selling our property, our so land. So when are you going to like officially start the campaign? I mean, when I started, I mean, I, like, I'm seeing pictures everywhere and, you know, you campaign halls. And, you, you should know be saying? seeing them now. So um, definitely I'm being careful because it's crazy out here. Mm. So on the way, um, another mayor candidate, his name is Tyrus, and all his signs is destroyed. See, and people don't know that cost us money. Mm. And so what happened was about two or three weeks ago, my... Cause you know my gangster side of me had to come up. I had to run up. No, seriously. No, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm, it's triple OG all day. I'm, I'm never getting twisted. I'm, I'm, because if you, I know people do that. If you, so I formed. You know, I, I have no. Um, That's funny to me though. Like, I have, people know my history. I have no reservations. I should have kept my phone back. Hey, what Jay Z said his new song said they forget I'm a project baby. Well, you know they forget. <laughs> Tell them all the time, don't let the smooth taste. You know, yeah, yeah, they forget Long Beach. I funded a Crips organization with Tookie Williams yeah. and with Roger Adams. We had our organization was funded because we, at one time in California, their kids were turning 17 and 18. So you gotta think, I was in Detroit, coming from Detroit in the winter time to hot California. I never had a winter. Mm. It was hot Detroit, hot, hot California. Mm -hmm. And so when you were turning 17 and 18, coming from Long Beach, the east side, I hung out with the east siders. My kid's father, I appreciate him because he protected me, bless his soul, he passed away. But you're coming up in the Wrigley's, you're coming up on the east side of the LBC. You understand what I'm saying? Their kids already have police uniforms on. What are you saying? I was hit with billy clubs in the head and everything. So what happened is the kids from... The upper part of California, like Richmond and stuff, would come down to Long Beach, Compton, and Watts. They was already cops. So what we had to do, we had to form organizations in our neighborhood. And the, we got the gang members, we got, we really got blamed for a lot of stuff that we didn't do. Kind of like how the U.S. and um, the Panthers had fell out, but we found out it was the feds. A lot of drive-bys, a lot of killings, just like some of the killings that happened in 2005 when Roderick Adams, bless his heart, because I was with him, I loved him, Big Cass, um, when Big, you know, Big Cass came out after a 20-year bid and he was doing the coffee um, pictures from Magic Johnson. I still have some of his artwork. We know that another gang didn't kill him because when the heads talk, when the Major people talk. We understand what happens. We know that those were police hits or whatever type of hits that was. Now, back to the question. What I propose to do is all of this empty land, I wanted to make it malls, just like the mall in the Mall of America in Minnesota got amusement park in it and restaurants. These should be our malls, Detroit malls that we own and that we work. If you work there, you got to be a citizen of the city of Detroit. I hate to be like that, but we need to get our city together. You understand what I'm saying, Mo? Hey, hold up before you go, uh, Cullen, not to cut you off. I know you had an announcement you wanted to make. Yeah, Cullen, your announcement. No, I want to help. You ain't getting Oh, I can come back. We got into the I live politics. Up the street. Cullen, <laughs> drop your announcement real quick. Yeah. Oh, my the, announcement. Let everybody is. know about the block party. Oh, shit. Yeah. The official DJ. Oh, all right, y'all ready? We got the block party coming up, right? Yeah. But on Labor Day, 
I'm taking over all of Seven Mile, all right? I'm going to be in three different locations on Seven Mile. Black Business Barbecue, we taking it over. Black businesses, okay. we need to unite. We need to turn up and we need to take this motherfucker city back. Yeah, Make sure you go that. vote for uh, yeah, Sharon. Right. We're talking about that. All right. Take go vote city. for her. I'm going to fuck with her. Y'all fuck with her too. Coalition DJs, I'm out of this motherfucker. Hey, man. I need to be a coalition DJ. You got to grow up first, sir. Okay. You ain't old enough yet. Say no more. <laughs> you ain't old enough yet. Say no more. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey. It was nice meeting you. Thanks for coming in, man. Nice seeing you. Look, nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. We used to all sit right on your lap. Luigi. Nice seeing you. But yeah. All right, bro. I'm taking a mile over. All right. It was nice when we met him. I know, right? Well, I'm on a mile, so I'm going to be with you. Look, this is going to be one of the spots. Okay. We're going to sit on that business outside. Okay. The vendor is going to be out there getting their shine on. Uh-huh. We're going to put some artists on the roof and let them perform. That remind me of when we had the record shop in Long Beach. Word. And then everybody used to oh, come up. Oh, with the big up. old donut on top of it? Yeah, and yeah. everybody used to come up and um, hey. perform. I appreciate you coming through today, uh, Cheryl. You brought a lot of a lot of what I thought, you know, to the table. And I see you full of information. Like if I stop if I don't stop you, you just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're giving me an opportunity to share information with everybody. Now here, now let's go back to this. Uh, my my one of my number one passions. Okay. Football. Oh yeah. What you do for a football team? Um. Well, we are the founder of the Michigan Queens, and it's a family um football team. Female football team. Female. Um, Shells used to play for us. Really. But when she went out really? to Connecticut, let me tell y'all what happened. <laughs> Shells is good. We had her on the front lines. You, you. Shells is good. We had her on the front lines. Hold up. Hold up. Front lines meaning what? Like linemen? Yeah. You look like a line. You look like a running back or something. I know, I Shells, is, <laughs> Shells is so powerful. But she was upset with us because she kept trying to figure out why we put her in the front. Yeah, I've been mad too. She don't realize her skills. No, <laughs> but still, so, I've been mad. But you know what? Her you know first what? Year. It's a team thing. And sometimes you got to do what's best for the team. But at the same time, that is a normal that is a normal football grind. Why I got to play on the line? You know what yeah. I'm saying? So Even that's for totally men. understood. Even for men, yeah. And what happened you know, and, was... And, and my, I coached for 25 years, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and I know that, you know, especially like when you're dealing with the 10-year-olds, yeah. 10-year-old to 10-year-old, oh, it, don't, wow. it don't matter. You can throw them anywhere. Yeah. But as you get older, it starts to matter a little bit. It does. First thing came to mind with, with, with you. I dance. running back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the first thing that came to my mind. So, you know what I'm saying? I can see that being a gripe. You know what I'm saying? But they, this is the team that we're facing. She said, they threw you on the front line. We're facing <laughs> <laughs> some, um, some different things. We're facing some different things in football now. Okay. Because um, you have transgenders. And Which I hate. No, don't hate. No, so, a transgender man should not be able to play with y'all. But he stepped. He kept stepping on Shell's toes, and he tore her toenails off, and she don't have any toenails right now. So I hate that that was her first experience with being out of town for her first game. Wait a minute. Uh, how does one go with the other? Like he told you, to put toenails. He on. kept. He kept. They were playing. During see, the, we don't. The, we don't the, teach them to play to cheat. We don't teach our women. We teach them the art of the game and the skill of the game. And so other people see how good our women are and how yeah. how skillful they are, and Absolutely. they get mad and they start cheating when they start losing. And you can they're basically just stomping on my feet, you know. Oh, on purpose. okay. Because I started thinking about your toenails. But she don't even yeah. have it. She she didn't even. She don't. One of them haven't even grown back yet. And this was a transgender oh, male. With the, uh, he with says the he's, on, though. he's transgendering into a woman, but I just feel like. So was you complaining like during the game, like this mother keeps stepping on my feet? Um, actually, I was playing, and like right before halftime, I was trying to go back out there, and I couldn't walk. And I had to sit down, and my coach took my shoes off, and my feet and socks were like full of blood. So they had to pour water. Because my and daughter water. called me, and she was like, It sounded like to me he was using some soccer cleats, though, or something, some steel cleats. He had to have something. I don't know. Else. I don't know. I 
like, hey, something, something right. like, hey, something wrong. It was something not right with his cleats. It was something he was No, nah, I mean, you know what? That's, that that is so weak to me. That is so weak. You should not go on. Listen, man, that's weak. We about to play them again this Saturday. He should and be allowed to play. And they're coming to our turf. Well, I'm definitely going to talk about it and just we say. Should, he should be allowed to play. He should be allowed to play because, and that's why I want That's a man. That's why I wanted Shells to come. Can I get one of them? Yes, yeah. <laughs> you good? I'm good. Uh, I'm um, saying he shouldn't be allowed to play. See, well, you know, I, I, you know, y'all be wondering, y'all be wondering where my weird ass topics be coming from. Yeah. Well, no, and I'm not coming not from shit like this. I was that person. I just know I was in the front line, and after a while, you know, what I'm saying I couldn't walk. I'm like, oh, we can't play more little dumb shit. Huh? We need another dumb. Oh. No, um. My daughter pays attention to everything she's on the team too. She definitely told me. And so this Saturday, I'm gonna bring it up to the coaches and everything and um Y'all nobody films team. nobody films the games? Yeah, we filmed the games so we, we can like see. we like to say eye in the sky don't lie. Yeah, we don't. And so She um, might need to be filming that. Yeah, so was anybody filming at Connecticut? I I don't know if nobody was filming on our team. Oh, so you actually played last week? No, I was in Connecticut for the first game. For the first, last week we beat Ohio. Yeah. Okay. They was mad. I mean, Minnesota. They was mad? Yeah, they was mad. They got, our girls is not, we not playing. I got so much history in football. My husband played for. Who was the one team that was from here? Uh, not the Queens. Who was the other team here? The Dark Angels. Pride. 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 That was, I think, Detroit Pride. Pride. Yeah. Well, my son coached on all those teams. Really? The Dark Angels, the pride in me, he wanted to make, he was like, Mom, we're going to make our own on this team. I was always intrigued by uh, lady football players because I know of nothing else that coachable. I know mm -hmm. all 30, 40 players on a female football team would be like sponges. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to learn this game, this so-called a man's game. I know what I'm saying. No, it's not that. But the reason why we do it is because it's women's empowerment. Yeah. And it, it's really keeping you fit. Yeah. The shells. The reason why I wanted shells to get on the team. She had just had the baby. Now look at her. <laughs> it just took a couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? I, I wish. Yeah. I, I wish that my calisthenics every day. I wish that my hip and knee wasn't me messed up. I know that when I went back to Mary Grove, I was 40 years old playing for the soccer team. Mm -hmm. So um, it keeps you, you keeps your body together. Mm -hmm. The reason why I like the football is because it's a discipline. Yeah, you can use it as a discipline in your life. Now I'm gonna be honest. The act of football is gay sexual positions. Huh? Well, whoa. It's gay sexual positions. What you mean? Y'all don't, don't know that. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't understand. What when you I mean. do stuff, I, you know, I, you know, I'm a real, real serious like genius, mm -hmm. and I don't like let, let, let people know. But I, I, re, I remember stuff that I'm taught, and I also, when I'm learning something in school, I'm gonna research it myself, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you where the history came, history of football came from, and it was soccer. First. Okay. But the positions that you get in there are gay male positions. And when I tell males that, some males don't like me no more, but they are. Those oh, are elaborate. sexual. Okay, so like when you're going down for the ball mm -hmm. with the quarterback, and then you got to come and put your hands in between the legs. <laughs> uh -huh. No, I'm serious. No, I'm laughing because I, I, I understand. That's why you see a lot of homosexuality in football. Weird, those weird. people that don't know how to... Um, Separate, separate it. No. Uh huh. Man. That's why you seen that man at Kentucky State. He was having sex. I never with had him. a. Uh, I never had a male. I, I never That's had a gay male. Man. I never had a gay male. Uh, uh, that was out of the closet, or whatever, on, on any of my football teams. Oh no, teams. not out of the closet. I'm saying that that act though. That that's what that came from. A gay. So you saying a gay man created football? Well, it was a. It not that a gay man created football. But those were, um, in history of time, those were the way homosexual, um, sexual, those moves and positions are homosexual, sexy, sexual, fortunate. Sure, where you get that from? You want to know the truth? Yeah. All you got to do is study the history of football. And then when you start finding out stuff, you're like, what the heck? 
And I used to be like, what? But then I understand I'm not clarifying it correctly. Mm. But just start doing your research. Well, my thing is for, for, for me to even want to do research, it has to somewhat make some sense. So I can say it's some of the things that, it, it yeah, it, it makes sense what you're saying. Some said, of the you know positions are sexual positions, Mo. I get yeah. No. But however, it's still a great sport. It is a great sport. Yeah. So we got you running for mayor, we got the DDT awards, we got you doing a football team. What else Cheryl doing that we might not know? Okay, so there's some other stuff, but it's just a lot. I have if anybody would like to um, get physical therapy or need home help, we have success therapy services. Um, we have um, two different pain clinics that you go to that you can go to if you need and need a pain management. We also can send someone to the house to do your chore duties or pay someone that's already doing your chore du duties. Yes, yeah, so if you got a family, family member that's washing your dishes, doing the laundry, going to the doctor, I mean taking you to the doctor, things like that, we pay them. To do those things. We get you a check every month for that. That's called the Home Care Services Program. Because Success Therapy is an agency that offer those. Mm. Um, what else? Um, we also How have, do you qualify for that? You have to have Medicaid. Okay. It's a Medicaid program. It's called the Home Health Program. So a lot of people don't know that the resources are there. That's why I'm always informative and let people know. Because mm. the Home Health Program been around for like 20 years. But if you go out of Oakland County and other races, mm -hmm. they know about it. But if you come on over here on the other side of 8 Mile, don't nobody know about it. Okay. So that's the home up with HSC to um, help with that. Um, pain management. And also we have two physical therapy clinics. We have one in Garden City at 300744 Road. That's our clinic. You can get physical therapy there. And we're also across the street from Providence. I'm in the Metroplex in Suite 603. And we do um, singers there. And we also give free massages when you come in. Mm. So if you come in and you get physical therapy, well, there we, we only accept Medicare right now. You can get your um, free massages. And right now, the most important thing that I'm doing about Cheryl, I'm over here in the Crossroads building uh -huh. um, with JC Otto. He's one of my biggest sponsors since my office. Where campaigning is right out of his office. It's not in Detroit. It's in Southfield. I tried to get one in Detroit, but they're too expensive. So I am going back to school right now. So I have a lot of um, science and uh, medical stuff under my um, self. But what I'm doing right now for myself is um, I'm in a law firm with five different lawyers. And so I'm back in school right now. Word. You know, to, to almost completing that. You're a busy woman, man. You're a busy woman. Well, I want to thank you for uh for coming through. You know, what I'm saying a drop of a dime. I like to call it the alley oop. You know, what I'm saying I threw the alley oop up and you slammed it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, uh, thank you for uh, reaching out to me about the bios and you know whatever you're gonna do with them. How you gonna include you know include us? Uh, I want to thank you. And also, I want to extend my invitation for uh, anything, any use that I can be. You know what I'm saying? Again, you know, uh, I want to help you go on a, a hunt for the people whose trophies you need to come get their trophies. So yeah, I can tell them something. You know what I'm right? saying? You, it's you tell hell of a nigga, come get your trophy, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You ain't that high up in the sky. I just seen hell of a, uh, hell of a guy in an apartment in the Jeffersonian. We, we, oh, okay. uh, we was on the elevator together. You know and saying? people like Cheryl, you don't know hell of a. And then I was like, you know, everybody don't know everybody. You know. Well, I think, I think, I think, I think that is just like he's so he's so down. Even though his name is Me everywhere, too. he's still he's so down. He earth. is he's down to earth. He's not yeah. untouchable, or unreachable. You know what I'm saying? Well, I thought that he deserved the award because I saw him out one day and he was just down to earth. How you feel about people that feel like, you know, his name shouldn't even be included in that class? That's terrible because hell of a guy work. Let me tell you, when I'm in... How you feel about that, Weezy? Well, that's terrible. What's the question? Like, okay, you have these award shows and you got, uh, let's say you got Big Gov on there with uh, Tone Tone. I or, always have or, Big or, 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 or Flame the Laces with hell of a... I always have Flame the yeah, Laces. I mean, but, 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 
Um, it's like you know what it was. Why not have them in the category? They produce. They're producers. I don't, give, I don't care if it was Swiss beats. Like you from Detroit. If Swiss was from Detroit, and you think he should be nominated? Yeah. Your cousins and aunties and them nominated that man. Put him on. No, there. that's what the recognition awards is there. about. Okay. About peak right. What's wrong with that? Well, I've like, never seen award shows that had well, Sada hey, Baby on there, and Sada didn't win. Right. Well, no, I'm. We all say a lot of times. A lot of times. A, a lot of times, you them. almost know who's going to win. Is what I'm saying. Like, if Cash Doll is in a, a best female category, you almost know she's going to win. Fuck what? No, no, don't. no, no. I'm about to show Some you right of these now. Artists be on these belts. You know what? I'm about win. to show you right now. I'm about to show you right now. Let me show you. <laughs> Mo, some Let me show you, Mo. Don't win. Right. Let me show you, Mo. I'm you would to, think that. I'm right, about same to, way people would think I would win because who my D-Play is. the year right. the Cash Down won, I gave her out? an award, and that was 2016. But let me show you, Mo. Who? Let me show you. The year the Cash Down won, she won. But let me show you this. Let me show you. They they People are beating Cash Down. And yeah, but hell, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? If he win, he win. I mean, it's worth it. Like, he going crazy. Right, say, say, say. I, I like, I like what you said. When you said, uh, so bottom look, line is, no matter how far up you see that nigga, he's still a D boy. So yeah. look, just <laughs> like, for, I, like I can run in a hell of a like four five in the morning. Yeah, and it still be the same energy if it was four five in the afternoon. Exactly, and that's why you I mean he's down to earth. Yeah, just facts. for example, do y'all know who T J. Official is? T K. T J. Look, that's his what you call him name. Oh, who's TJ? TJ, that's TK. Um, he uses... Okay, so look. TJ, official. TK. TK, fantastic. He, TK. he is winning over everybody right now. TK, bad motherfucker. He, look, you see Best Male Rapper ENT Works. You see, see he, he been at the top since October. Because his, look, these votes don't lie. This is everybody who has voted for this man. You can see the votes right here. Like, it's been people that said they do don't like. That? It's been people. It's been people that's been this and said. Now I'm gonna go to best. What female. kind of awards is this? You can see who's winning. I'm gonna go to um <laughs> because when you you ain't all of these awards I've been seeing lately, they've been nominating people and stuff. And I ain't saying anything about because anybody coming with an award show, we should appreciate that. Facts. But all of a sudden, the same people every year. Is getting the award, and we're yeah. not doing that at the. I DMT seen an award awards. show uh, a couple years ago on a ballot. Um, I yes. had to go look and mm -hmm. vote for somebody, but I do be voting for people on these award shows. Like I don't care if I'm nominated. Or not. And they Facts. make you feel like your vote. Um, don't it count. didn't only take a minute, sixty yeah, seconds. Yeah, they don't, they don't no, take man. that long for real. Yeah. Uh, and I seen a movie nominated like best Detroit movie something like it was something like that mm -hmm. and I know for a fact the movie was never released right because I was hired yeah, yeah. to help work on the soundtrack mm. that never was released Anyone. none of the stuff never but right it was up there wow never was released and I was and and that right there I was like oh yeah this is bullshit well, yeah, because people are choosing who they want to choose. Look, they don't cash down. What if, what if, what if I released it, but I already released it in the streets, though? The reason the movie wasn't released because they couldn't get, they past, couldn't get past a past lot of the, copyright right. shit in the movie. They had a whole bunch of industry, old school songs and all type of shit in the movie. And I guess the distributor or whatever was like, no. It's not going to happen until you change up some of this music. That's where I came into play to try to help put some Detroit artists on it and mm. some local music on there so you wouldn't have to go through all these rings around the corner and well, like to do the, uh, the big names and get the clearances and all that. Because the music they had in there, you for sure going to have to pay these folks. Right. You got to say no more. <laughs> I'm not going to put it out there. You nah, feel me? Like, I, I, I was going to say, I'm it, waiting, it was brought to I'm me. I'm the camera go off. Yeah, no, nah, I ain't going to do that. It was just brought to me, and I want to say it was 17 or 18. I had the physical DVD yeah. brought to me, like, this is it. And here you go. Tell me so, what you think, and tell me what we can do. I mean, but that's still only one category, the movie category, though. Yeah, but that's how I knew some shit was some bullshit. Yeah. What's wrong, boo? No, listen. 
Well, you know what, man? I want to give a big shout out to uh, Chief over at uh, Core Radio right now. He have the Global Awards. It's going to be June nineteenth. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He got the website. He been trying to get people nominated. He been, you know, most of the time, these situations begin with an open nomination. Yeah. And people is just not hitting the link. You know what I'm saying? He, I talk to him all the time, and you know, he was just saying like. You know, I, I I put the sister girls on there, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. And he was just saying that, you know, he got a long list of people that's, like, known, that's not known through the, that that's them hit the link. And the only person that he knows to hit the link was me. And I just think that that's a shame. I just think that, you know what I'm saying, people take these type of platforms for granted to a, I yeah, mean, people I always say, man, Mo, just keep doing what you're doing, fuck them. It'd be hard to say fuck them, I keep agree. doing what you're doing, when you just, you steady get taken for granted, and, you know, these platforms and these events are for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, if I do an event, I like to give away trophies and prizes and, you know, like for, you know, you big Ouija, so a motherfucker free video might not be shit to you, especially I'm paying... <laughs> Just 150, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and uh, so it might not be shit for you, but the people that has won it, though, and you you look up and it's like, shit, Mo, this that video I, I got, I won for you, and it's like, wow, that's what's up. So I'm saying, yeah. so it's not everybody, but it's still enough for them to, you know. Man, for me right now, man, I'm just, man, a lot of the, like I told you, I ain't dealing with all these Detroit politics, Detroit music politics, fuck these niggas. Yeah. Uh, that's my, that's. Well, I see that for you. You keep you know it moving. You be, you be yeah, throwing them one minute in. Yeah, but that weed you. Yeah. It, it is what it is. It got to make sense for me. But you know what I'm saying? Like my whole focus right now is just making sure I get, I get, I get in the world the best version of me. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, I know that's right. Like, the quality in the music, the quality in the mm -hmm. videos, the quality of everything that I do. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So yeah. it ain't no Bugazi ass shit with me. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, like everything I'm giving people is straight up quality. I fund my everything. Right. Ain't no label giving me nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting money off of what I'm doing in the streets, off my clothing line, off of whatever I got going on. How is the clothing line? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, wonderful. Wonderful. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a blessing. Man. I'm about to be in the store. I, I, I'm about to be in the store in Atlanta, man. I, I need a 4X, you know what I'm saying? I okay. like to represent too. You know? yeah, I'm, about to, I'm, about to, I'm about to get the mass production getting going in uh, mid-July. So, sure. You know what I'm saying? So um, what's going on right now, uh, we put together a store in Atlanta. We just, uh, just started, we got painted maybe two weeks ago, mm -hmm. three weeks ago. I just had that a big photo awesome. shoot. I just had a uh, big photo shoot down there a couple weeks ago when I was in Atlanta. Uh, wow, you're talking, talking about the things that motherfucker don't know. Man, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I just had a photo shoot down there for my new album cover, the clothing line. Uh, my daughter had a photo shoot for what she got going on. Uh, Let me I ask took you her this. friends down there. They had a collective friend. My lady, I mean, my clothing line's collective fresh clothing. Um, I'm not in it because I just, like I said, I'm yeah. doing some other shit. Yeah. Up. But I, if I don't got collective fresh on, I got bolo on. You know what I'm right. saying? So that's it. But, Let um, me ask you this because I see this a lot too with our Detroit artists. Like on the top ten, on the top ten, Detroit is always somewhere like seven or eight. Who are your top three cities that you know for a fact fuck with you? Uh, Cali, mm -hmm. uh, ATL, mm -hmm. um, and I want to say Texas, Arizona, -ish, you yeah. know that. Mm -hmm. And see what I mean? That way. See what I mean? Like my, I pay attention to the East. saying shit, Mo, shit, Detroit, fucking with me, but I think you know what I'm saying when I say when you look at the demo, the, the, the demographics and you I be like attention. Detroit on there, but they be like six, seven, yeah, eight. Yeah, but then a lot, a lot of artists don't know if you got all. Even your if shit I look together. at my, um, my 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 stats, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, yeah, people don't know. If you got all your shit together, you can really dig down to see who playing your music. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like on even on a Shazam or a Siri search. I know what my stats is even on that. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting like 30, 40 plus Shazams a week. Do that, uh, when you Series, look at your stats. Uh, 30, 40 plus. When you look yes. at your stats, do you ever feel like, hmm, okay, I got to do more over here. All. That's so, what I've been yeah. working on for the last two years. Okay. It's streams. Okay. Okay. Like, I've been working on streams for the last two years, working on people, driving them. To listen, driving them to hit the link, driving them the yeah. same way you just said about the war show. Yeah. I've been driving people to hit the links and it's been rewarding. 
You know what I'm saying? Because not to cut nobody off, because the album I just dropped in September, I was nervous as far as the streams. I'm out, I'm out, I'm my old shit, this and that. But my single, I'll Be Back, has damn it, 10,000 streams, and then the full album is basically at the same number for the full album. So for your full album to do what a single was doing on some underground shit, that's not bad. It's a blessing. Mm -hmm. My single is almost at 10,000 streams. Right. Been out since September. The album. And they both head to head. Right. So niggas is listening to the song. Right. But also niggas is listening to the album. Right. 17 tracks on the album. Right. All my songs got plays. Right. It ain't like, oh, it's one play. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, I like, I like the way they be breaking down stats so you can the, see. This plays. People was actually hitting yeah. the play button. If it's thirty seconds or the whole two minutes, three minutes, people was hitting the play button, that's and that's awesome. all I've been focusing on yeah. is getting that. I don't yeah. know if Ouija aware, but our Motown song and our Detroit one song is still on the Billboard. Uh, it's on the Billboard. We was on SoundClick Top One Hundred when SoundClick wasn't even hot. Yeah, for real. Our, Twenty our, years ago, our still, me and Weechi got SoundClick been around for Weegee, a long time. Me and Weechi got songs that's on the Billboard now. I think Detroit is number twelve, and I think Motown was eighty six or something like that. Like on the actual, our old stuff is on the actual billboards. And Weechi say if you check your stuff right, like Weechi, you got stats you don't even know about. All you gotta do is go Probably to SoundClick. And then what you got to do is check your stuff because we still have fans, we because I keep up with that stuff. Because we got um, Motown on there, we got Detroit one, but and what, people like the. Where mine get divided at the spelling of my name. I, used to, I didn't spell it always with a W. Uh, but listen. Right. When we but, were able to get I spelled it with a Q, Q U I J A. But listen, so a your, BMI, that. your BMI, the way I set your BMI up, mm -mm. it follows his date of birth. Government. And his, Weezy, so like I really be trying to tell people like um, 20 years ago, yeah. you know, and I was saying sometimes it takes some years, but Weezy, Motown and Detroit, one is on the billboard. Right. Like our music is on the billboard, like top 100 right. billboard right. because it goes straight from BMI or ASCAP to the bill. Billboard, but I wanted to say something quickly, Mo. Yeah. Okay, so in the DT Awards, the um, best uh, female hip hop artist, Rocky Bad. I talked to her mama last week, so um, I don't know if Rocky's coming or not, but she's leading. Shay, and then Shay the Boss is second, and Cash Doll is third. Wow. So it looks like who's really going to begin it? I don't know. I'm gonna give Rocky the. But you know what it come boil down to with that? It's what you're doing. As far as interacting with the people, right. yeah. Rocky at the top of that because she in the streets. And right. these she people these know her. She my you, little you got bit access to Rocky. You got access yeah. to Rocky. Just like you, you got, got access to Rocky right there and the girls. You, right. Right. So, you, you know, got that. access to Cash Down. I could bring Cash Down. And at the point of you bringing her down, I'm talking but, about, I'm talking about yeah, daily access, access where I can go. To, you see, I can go over you to Bank Rose and them studios and, and I can there. see Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Or I can go down and That makes a big difference, man. It makes a difference when you interacting, when you out here on your campaign shit. What I just said when I walk mm -hmm. in, I'm about to do a whole campaign for the next 30 days straight. And mm -hmm. then for to my block party. our best female R&B artist, a lot of people I don't even know, but I need to even get in touch with her. But it's a new artist that's come out that's taking over. Her name is Yes, That's Death. And the name of her song is Going 8. And she, it previewed. Then you got Cinnamon Giovanni. I don't know. And then Shells Renee is third. So, Shells, you got to get your boats up in the next. Two weeks. We're going to have Yeah. You third. I'm saying. And then, look. It's a hundred more people on the list. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Mo? Like, mm -hmm. um, that's why I like the way that Facebook did the, um, did the voting like this. Because, like I said, we the only branded group in Facebook. We are branded. We are branded. When you share your content in the DET Awards, it goes out globally. You can also get paid for your content. So, the Facebook just didn't want no cheating with the votes. Mm -hmm. And so, they set these tools up like this. So, nobody could say, you know what I'm saying, um, basically, 
we cheated or we gave it to someone that um, I appreciate all the platforms. That's, I mean, that, that, that is really true right there, though. It's right there in your face and it's been there, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you got any shout outs you want to put out? Me? Okay. Um, I want to give a shout out to you, Mo Divine. Thank you. Thank okay. You. And Sound Nation, and I appreciate you coming here. Ouija, I love you so much. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. I love Ouija, for real. We like family. Shells, I got to give a shout out to the people that um, came on my live, which is Taisha. Yeah. Like the people that support. Yeah. You know, but I really wanted to give a shout out right now to Didi. Um, to, because, you know, um, Didi would have been here and stuff. We working on stuff. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to her. Uh, Thank you, and, and the kids and stuff. And Rello. What's up, Rello? And um, I just want to tell everybody to, um, I'm a writing in this year candidate. I was on the ballot, but the city of Detroit got a, some things to do with their corruption and the elections office and things like that. But I want to give a shout out to everybody that's in my committee. Lisa Ritter, uh, which is Desiree Monroe, that I um, got introduced through through Shells. Mm -hmm. um, um, Tarnetta Carter, Miss Rogers. I really love Miss Rogers. I haven't talked to her in a couple of days. Everybody's just been so supportive, and they they own woman and they doing their own thing. Did I leave anybody out? I own okay. right. Miss Rogers, Lisa Ritter, Shells, Taisha. And I'm everybody. Yeah, and Didi. All mm -hmm. of my women that's on the committee. Uh, shout out to the Michigan Queens. We're having our game this Saturday. Man, I got a DJ. I got a, I just looked at my, my calendar. I got a DJ Saturday. Didn't we just talk about that too? Getting people to do our schedules. Yeah. And listen, you you guys come out to the block party. I will be there passing out some mayor's information at Weegee's block party, which is on Ju July 10th. July the 10th. Why I keep saying 12th? Because you got something on the 12th too, right? I started toward July 11th. You started toward July 11th? Mm -hmm. Okay, July the um, 10th. Also, if you can, come out um, to Think on Steel, June the 19th at Steel's. And the DT Awards is the 26th. Bring a senior, bring a kid, bring a wife. I'm going to need you to remind me of that black party. For the... Think on Steel, June the 19th, because yeah. I know it's a heavy activity oh, day. Oh, yeah, that's Juneteenth. Because that's Juneteenth. Man, that's so, true. we having it early, though. Okay, see, so that might, okay. Yeah, yeah we having it early. Uh-huh. Because it's, it's so much stuff going, so we were planning on just being, it's like a meet and greet. Because a lot of people wanted to now say. That, you're talking about an event that should be together and it should never be separate, is that one? What, June? Juneteenth yeah. should not be a separate Well, event. I was trying to have Juneteenth with some few people, but I, I guess they don't get down like I get down. I kept saying free you know, for the people, <laughs> and they just kept saying, like, what? Like, that's not going to work. So, Well, um, you know, Juneteenth, it's, 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 it really shouldn't have to be free. It's been looking better over the years. Though. It's been looking better, man. Juneteenth, man, when you come together, it's, it's supposed to be a week of spending nothing but black money with black people. You know what I'm saying? Some people make enough money during Juneteenth, the week of Juneteenth, to last the whole year. And honoring you know their saying? ancestors. Yeah. But, you know. We're going to be at the corner. We'll learn. On the 20th, at the corner. So, um, but isn't um, they having something over at Core Radio on Juneteenth? Uh, you know, yeah. once again, they, they they do a full week thing over there. Isn't he having the Pearl having, Awards? Isn't that yeah, June that's 19th? June 19th. Because yeah. that's my birthday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, were you going to be here? Because I think he's mentioned you before. I think he talked to you or something? No, we, we, we kind of fell out, and I'm not afraid to say that. Because I was supposed to have an awards <laughs> show. Oh, I fell about. At, about. Well, I was supposed to have an awards show at Core Park, and this is the second year. And um, Chief, he put a lot of work into it, into the website and everything, and he has to understand that I do honor that. But when you call a triple OG a dummy, like, you don't know me like that. So he had upset because I didn't want to charge for chairs. 
And this is what happened with that situation since we're here and I can talk about it on your station. Okay, you know Ray is having something at the corner park. Ray always opened the pool hall up for us and everything, right? So I was going to have my award show at the corner park. We were going to bring the senior in and Ray was going to have it on Father's Day, right? So on Ray's page, Ray has always called his event Juneteenth. We always in the pool hall. Mm -hmm. Every year we had an award <laughs> show. We, we rehearsed. I didn't call Ouija. Ouija that came to the pool hall. We rehearsed at the pool hall. Then we had an award show. This year, Ray was like, we're going to do everything at Core Park, right? And this is really what happened. Mm -hmm. I was working with Chief and everything. He was taking his time. He was getting the website together. It was really nice. All of the links together and everything. I get it. He called Ray. And the next thing I know, Ray told me, yeah, I went to Core Park, but I ain't paying $2,500 for a stage. Chief didn't know that. Ray is the person that paid for the DZ Awards. A lot of people don't know that. Like, when I get doing my senior stuff, I can be pinned on you, Ray, um, you, Ray and Rello. So Chief called Ray, and I didn't know he was calling Ray. And so Ray called me, and he was like, and I called him, Shell's upset. He was like, Cheryl, it doesn't take $2,500 to light up the stage. And I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, Chief called me, and I just left Core.